Hey, happy Thursday. Yeah, we're streaming on Thursday. Because Bungie doing Bungie things. Yara yeah, was here nice and early. Good to see you. Do I remember the hidden realm in the Dreaming City? There were plenty of those. I do indeed. Sunny, good to see our live reactions new. They're fairly new. You can hype off in chat. It's all engagement. We love a bit of engagement here on the platform. Matthew, welcome back. Good to see you. Luna, they're going to completely miss the actual problems and we all know it. Well, I did go back over the last article. Um, it released around quarter past six UK time last time, which is around an hour. So, Bungie like to stick to their schedules. So, hopefully within the next hour. And then Twid will probably follow that 90 minutes after that. So, we shall see. <clears throat> but yes, we are here for the state of the game. Because it matters. But we are also here for a very competitive fishing marathon with Pigeon and Grandad. Where you can snag yourself some pretty sweet bungee loot. Including emblems. We love that. Destiny 2 t-shirts. Destiny fishing hats. And even the exotic pin set. Just for being here, pretty much. Dark Messiah. Member for 16 months, bro. That is a long ass time. Appreciate you, my friend. Long time viewer and a long time supporter too. Appreciate you, bud. Hope I'm doing well. Doing good, man. We went to the football yesterday in the Emirates. Uh, so, yeah. It, I was prepared for rain and it was warm and sunny. So, overdressed. You're an emblem chaser? Oh, you're going to love this. Check this chat. So what happens, the name of the game, if you read the pin tweet, that each catch will unlock a spin on this, which is the weird prizes, where we can win some epic prizes. So you have to work the legendary and exotic fish count. So every time one of either me, Grandad, or Pigeon catch a fish, we get to spin the wheel. Like this. Now this prize, as an example, a fishing hat or a Destiny 2 t-shirt, so that's now, or that would be, for example, a prize for Jarv's community. So we have to first win the prizes. Then once we have all the prizes won, we can then raffle them to our own communities. So we're literally going to be raffling them today. Uh, for the actual items themselves, uh, there's codes for you to use within the Bungie store. So you don't have to give me any of your details. You can go do that and sort that out for yourself as long as you're signed up to Bungie store you literally put the code in Bungie store and yeah the item is yours um and then as for the emblems we have I have 10 personally Pigeon and Grandad will have however many they have uh, to give away in their relevant channels as well um for me though I'm just going to be dishing those out throughout the course of the stream in chat so be here be ready with the bungee reward screen up uh, and at various intervals throughout the shift today the shift the stream i'm putting in a shift let's be honest um we'll stick some codes in chat to keep you feisty keep you hungry <clears throat> oh yes and i forgot to mention if any of the fire team paul and exotic the other two members of the team have to complete the bean challenge you know those manky beans it's either what's it either pear or dead fish those kind of beans the challenging kind of type yeah the other two members of the team have to run that gauntlet so it's gonna be a day of fun laughs and plenty of prizes and hopefully Bungie pull up a chair and bring us a, a dank article Restoring confidence. That's what they need to do. Uh, as for emblems, let's find my Twitterverse. Let's go mark Twitter if you're not following me on there. Because if you're not, you're missing out on giveaways. Because I literally do giveaways on Twitter a lot. Um, you can't see this because it's on the small screen. So we're going to go to the main screen. 
and I'll zoom in because I wear glasses and I can't see shit. So this is the emblem. Exclusive from creators such as myself. I was given 20. I'm giving away 20. I don't even have the emblem. Everything I've got, I give away. So you just have to be here. And like I say, I'll drop codes for this throughout the course of the stream today. Could be during a state of the game reading. It could be while we're fishing. It could be while I'm on a toilet break. You need to be here. Uh, and then we've got the exotic pin set. These are the exotic fish for Season of the Deep. So this is available as well. I believe there's 10 of those. Uh, I think there's... Wait a minute. Let me find the information. So there's 10 of those. There's 10 of those. The hats, we've got 20 of those. They're better than this hat. Trust me. You can get your Riz on with these hats. Look at that. Trust me. Uh, and then we got the Season of the Deep t-shirt. There's 15 of those. Obviously, I'm not giving all these away myself. These are the prizes that me, Grandad, and Pigeon have to win for our own respective communities. Then we'll be giving what we win to you uh, as a raffle. So it's all in the fun. It's all for fun. Uh, so, yeah. And all whilst that's kicking off, we've got to keep an eye out for Bungie in their state of the game. Appreciate the follows on Twitter. Undead Wolves, a game for it. And Dark... Nawali? Nawal? And Logic Skill. Appreciate you guys and gals those follows oh sorry it's not twitter is it it's x god i need to get down with the kids tony tier one you pop that cherry tony month one tier one i appreciate you bud appreciate the support my friend what a legend enjoy your jar badge your jar v most although that's a red jar badge that's not like that's not a continued sub. That's not a continued uh, membership. I don't know why it's uh, only saying one. You've clearly been supporting me for more than one month, bro. <laughs> so you, if YouTube throwing you under the bus. <laughs> Leandro, good to see you. You are rubbing in that ship you never got. I literally only just put this back on today. Uh, I got kind of fed up. Sorry, I'll just put my ghost on that you, that you can not pick up from Eververse. Tell you what, though. Watching the cutscenes in Lightfall was super awkward. We got Osiris trying to teach us Strand and Sagira's there, kind of. Sagira's dead, bro. Kind of weird. Uh, what am I expecting to see in this showcase? I mean, admittedly, credit to Bungie, in their last article, pre-Lightfall, they have pretty much delivered on everything they mentioned in that article, with the exception of Fireteam Finder, which got pushed back one season and is coming out the season before Final Shape, uh, so season 23. So, but everything else is kind of there. So, I mean, it's anyone's guess what's in there. I mean, a bit of a... A bit of an update on the rituals activities. I think, you know, just it's just so, so samey. I feel like backfilling strike playlists for battlegrounds isn't the solution. Um, the maps in Gambit. I mean, Gambit's had nothing other than things taken away from it. Uh, similar to Crucible, and the things they do bring back to the Crucible, they pull out the DCV most of the time. So it's uh, it needs to be better. It needs to be better for the ritual activities because it's those core playlists that carry the season when we have quiet weeks. If those core playlists aren't engaging for players, then yeah, they'll play other games. And there's a lot of good games this year. Uh, so I don't need to beat a horse without some of those games, but they are really good. So if you want to keep players entertained and in your game, because let's be real, the longer we're in the game, the more likely are we are to spend money in it then it's win-win for Bungie in, if they do that. But it's, it's a, to, a toss-up because it's 
money to invest in those ritual playlists but those ritual playlists are also available to free to try players so it's like there is a potential there that they could invest money in that into things that don't generate a revenue potentially but if they're good enough and they keep people in the game then that kind of answers the question for them but it's easy for me to say i'm not a dev or a producer or a director at bungie so state of the game is up bro I feel like I'm being trolled. Oh, state of the game. For real. Oh. <laughs> that is mad, bro. I literally went live and literally less than 10 minutes later Bungie like yo here's a massive blog all right right state of the game stay in my face all right here we go then so my name's joe and i'm the game director of destiny 2 right now the team and i are heads down on making sure the final shape and the seasons leading up to it are incredible so for the rest of this update you'll be hearing from a bunch of different voices that all contributed towards this mid-year state of the game. Uh, I wanted to start with a quick thanks to all of you who have been playing Destiny for so many years. The way you play and the feedback you give is a huge part of how we shape our plans and it's an honour to log in each day and play in this universe alongside us all. So back in February, they covered the state of the game heading into Lightfall and laid out the big goals, the four big goals that they had set out for Destiny 2 in preparation for Lightfall. And then in April, they looked back at those lessons learned from launch and charted a new path uh, with the first half of Lightfall's year. So today they're diving into the second half of that year, addressing some of the community's burning questions, updating everyone on the progress against those four goals that they set and preview and previewing some exciting updates that we count the days to our Destiny 2 showcase on the 22nd of August. So as always, we'd like to celebrate our community first and foremost. We're thankful to see so many players continuing to join us throughout this journey it's been amazing to welcome more new lights than ever than expected during lightfall so since the release of the final shape teaser trailer in may the community's reaction to cade 6's up and coming return has been nothing short of heartwarming and we can't wait to share more in a showcase later this month but before all that let's dig into the game we're making and playing right now let's get into it Right, addressing feedback. So we've been tracking the number of player feedback items over the last few months. And while we've covered some issues recently, including the roadmap for improvements in general stability, it's time for a detailed check-in on our progress in several areas of the game. So ritual updates. Oh my God, literally, what did I say before this article came out? Jarv literally works at Bungie. What is going on? It's been up for a bit now? Yeah, come out, bro. An hour? I feel, I feel like it didn't come out an hour ago, dude. Did it? Like an hour? Bro, I'm like late to the party then. So we've heard plenty of feedback from players that a core ritual playlist should feel more consistent, rewarding to play, and that those rewards should drop more frequently regardless of the activities that we choose to play. And they agree. So let's talk about what they've done so far and what we're doing in Season 22 to achieve this. So for Season of the Deep, they've upgraded the weekly ritual challenge rewards to exotic engrams to give everyone consistent sources of materials to focus the exact exotic armor that they want to run so in season 22 they're updating those weekly ritual challenges requirements so players can complete their nine challenges in any ritual playlist they like as opposed to having to complete three across vanguard crucible and gambit they're also increasing the frequency of ritual end ground drops after completing ritual activities and they're making the latest ritual lootable weapons focusable finally at the respective vendors at the start of the season for the first time rather than needing to wait until the following season to chase those god rolls good stuff good change uh we're loading up our ritual vendors with fresh weapons in season 22 including unending tempest stasis submachine gun in the crucible the lunar regolith 3 solar sniper rifle for strikes the qua 
Zafan Void Machine Gun for Gambit. And then we've got a grenade launcher in Trials. Uh, they're also bringing a fan favorite back to the ritual playlist, including the Igneous Hammer Hand Cannon for Trials and revamping Warden's Law with a brand new archetype for the Nightfall Reward. So we knew that already. So this is how we're making our core rituals more rewarding overall. But what we're doing for each of the specific areas. So PvP, Guardian versus Guardian stuff. What's up, Kaya? Good to see you. Good morning. So thanks to the hard work of multiple teams, we've delivered several additions to PvP over the last few seasons. And these include the launch of competitive division, multiple new game modes, a revamp of trials, new competitive and trials rewards, matchmaking for fire team improvements, new rotator playlist, PvP specific weapon tuning, spe several quality of life improvements and more. However, we know our hardcore PvP players want more maps, fewer cheaters, and an ever-evolving meta that feels good to competing. Amen. I'm not super competitive, by the way, but those definitely ring true. Um, the most frequent feedback we see is that there's not enough new PvP content specifically for maps. So to set expectations, our studio structure is built to support more overarching updates to PvP like the ones above, rather than focusing exclusively on maps. So basically, the team is currently set up to service Crucible, but not add to it. Is that right? Not add maps. We're not going to add real estate to Crucible. When we do focus on resources on building new crucible maps it comes with a trade-off for multiple teams bandwidth on work that contributes to a variety of experiences that players also hold dear such as the new story or exotic mission content core activities that make up the foundation of each season or new destinations similarly bringing back reprise maps also involves extensive porting to the latest version of destiny 2 which requires additional resources to ensure the maps work correctly for multiple game modes and play styles for years to come Hmm. You were attempting to solo a Master Nightfall and you're kind of mad. Keep getting slammed by the overloads. Oh, mate. Overloads are ruthless. So, the new PvP pack, Multiplex. Uh, do you know? That kind of reminds me of Vertigo a little bit. Lots of possibilities to fall. <laughs> With that said, we have some exciting content coming to PvP this month that several teams have brought to life as well as an update on our advances in game security to combat cheaters, a preview of upcoming sandbox shakeups, and more details coming next week on how general PvP sandbox will evolve. So for Season 22, they have the new Vex Network themed map debuting along with the Relic 6v6 mode, a gunplay focused checkmate modifier for multiple modes. We covered that in a preview for Season 22, so make sure to check out that video. A new competitive Ascendant Division emblem and more. Relic and Checkmate will both kick off in Crucible Labs throughout the season so we can gather more feedback on how they're received. And we'll have more to share in the showcase. But let's dive in a bit right now. So we've got the... Uh, the I mean, it's a screenshot, so we take that. A new map to fall to death, sign me up. Uh, I mean, if you're a Warlock, it's kind of hard game, isn't it, really? You're already on the back foot before you even load in if you're loading into this map. But I like it. I do like... I mean, it's easy. It's only one screenshot, but, like, I like the aesthetic of the of the Vex network. I'm super surprised that with, like, Season of the Spicer, I feel like it makes sense to have these with the season that the, the kind of design applies to. You know what I mean? It, it would be kind of strange now to get, like, a, just a Europa map appear for no reason. It should probably come with Beyond Light, right? But then, like they said, precursor to that, if they need to create a map for Crucible or Gambit, they have to take away from the teams that actually are creating that content for us for those expansions and seasons. So I kind of get it, really. Heat Rises, what do you mean? Er, what's up, Beefy? So Multiplex, the newest PvP battlefield. We wanted to create a asymmetrical map using a vex environment as a backdrop that could work well for multiple game modes with the vex network playing such a crucial role in the story during lightfall we felt it was a perfect time to deliver the map 
Oh, they just shut me up right there, didn't they? Although many of us have been thinking about the low 5x map for Crucible, the challenge of this palette was to the possible lack of player orientation in the play space. We thought bringing the Mars palette into the Vex network realm would be a great way to mitigate this while adding... Uh, what's that? Why can't... Evocative, look. Evocative. Narrative. Evocative, Jarv. Narratively, the space is in the middle of compiling infinite forest. So this is what we'll see in action. And there'll be footage of that in the showcase. Checkmate. So this is a modifier where richer primary weapons fight can happen more often and gun skill can be augmented by communication and strong positioning. Primary weapon damage has been tuned to feel different than the rest of the game without feeling jarred, reducing the gap between killing faster weapons and the average time to kill, and in general, pushing longer range primaries into slower killing profiles. So player health has been increased for this. All ability cooldowns are lengthened and special ammo must be earned via gameplay and doesn't drop on death. This it all results in a slightly longer combat encounter that rewards skill and consistency. So that'll be available in Crucible Labs from week five to week 10. We will start off with two weeks of checkmate control, then switch up to two weeks of checkmate survival, and finally two weeks of rumble. To finish off the trial in season 22. Relic. People in chat said they were pretty excited for this. It's the perfect time to drop the map when the community won't their <laughs> shit anymore, sure. Relic is a 6v6 party mode where players wreak havoc and destruction on their foes with relic weapons. Relics include the Aegis of Vault of Glass, the Synaptic Spear from Season of the Risen, and the Scythe from Season of the Haunted. Each player charges their personal relic energy by defeating opponents with their normal loadout. Upon reaching full charge, players can acquire a relic from a relic depot, and defeating relic holders and using relics to defeat opponents earns points for the team. Whereas Checkmate is heavily focused on gunfights, Relics is intended to provide light high gameplay that can be enjoyed by anyone, similar to Mayhem or Team Scorched. I don't find Team Scorched enjoyable. Mayhem maybe, but Team Scorched is hella frustrating, bro. And I can see chat already. Just get good, Jarv. You're trash, bro. Yes. Yes, that is also true. So Relic will be available from week one to four. And again in week 11 until the close of the season and i look forward to hearing our feedback on both checkmate and relic uh once they roll out in the season matchmaking improvements so our quest to con constantly improve matchmaking is always ongoing and in season 22 they're modifying our loose skill based matchmaking settings for control and arm banner these new settings will look to improve matchmaking times and experiences for players who find themselves at the upper and lower ends of the skill spectrum me basically at the lower end obviously and for those playing in low population regions or times uh, the team is also adding loose fire team matchmaking to crucible rotators including labs to ensure players are being evenly matched against similar fire team sizes without the need for a freelance node additionally we'll be tackling an issue with lobby balancing that can be misallocated misallocate players over certain skill levels yeah what they said Season 23, matchmaking is the worst. I always do get a bit worried when they say like they, when they start tinkering with matchmaking. When they start modifying that to improve matchmaking times, that tends to mean that they are more focused on skill than connection. Like when they focus on connection, I don't know actually. When they focus on skill, it's, it's longer matchmaking times. When it's focused on connection, it should be shorter. So actually, that should be a positive. It should be more based on connection. Well, it's speculated that after Final Shake, the Vex is who we have to deal with. I, I mean, I think the Veil containment has uh, made Vex's interest in the Veil very apparent. Uh, and it's quite clear they don't really have a main part to play in the end of the light versus darkness saga although they were absolutely critical at the very beginning how can you have such an important start and be absolutely worthless at the end i don't know it's not i don't write the story but they are going to be key for the next chapter for sure all signs point to crota yeah i mean 
I don't know, man. I, I, it's, it is. It is what it is, isn't it? So, more to come in season 23. Who's going to grab that emblem? Who's going to grab that emblem? Right, so looking further ahead, they're planning on delivering new Iron Banner mode for Season 23, along with a brand new Hake Aggressive Frame Strand Pulse Rifle for our newest competitive division weapon reward. The Miracle Overreach Adaptive Frame Arc Sniper Rifle will remain available for competitors throughout Season 22. And as a reminder, we're also focusing our map reprisal efforts on porting the Citadel from 2018 to the Crucible in Season 23. We all have fond memories of dominating control with our fire teams on this one and can't wait to see what we can do with the latest arsenal out there in the dreaming city that was such a one-sided map you got the emblem let's go angry scotsman let's go dude told you chat you gotta be ready get that bungee rewards page up you never know is the state of the game out yes we're, we're currently reading through it it was out over an hour ago apparently so I guess I started streaming just after it went live, but didn't really know until chat mentioned it. Um, so yeah, one down, nine more emblems to go. Vanguard. Vanguard playlist, here we go. So they're currently a solid place for with a healthy population, and we have more additions coming. First up, Vanguard medals. Is this strike scoring? Vanguard medals will be available in Vanguard Ops and Nightfall starting in Season 22. After first being introduced in last year's Guardian Games, they continued their success in this year's event as they decided to bring them in full time to spice things up in the playlist. That'd be it. They should never have taken them away when they... I think medals were first in like... Did they have them in Destiny 1? They should never have taken them out of strikes, really. <clears throat> I'm glad they're back permanently. Medals will contribute to scoring, allowing players to attain higher scores and reputation multipliers by performing unique actions and doing cool things. Our goal here is to reward players for playing well and not require players to go out of their way to grind for score. In short, we don't want you to feel like you have to compromise your build in order to boost your score for additional medals. Yeah, I kind of hope they do something about like the finisher, man. I don't want the strike playlist just to be about finishing every single like yellow bar or like orange bar. I mean, I had enough of that during uh, Guardian Games. Uh, what emblem is that? Yeah, it's the Sentia Obscura, yeah. You just got to be here, chat. You just got to be here. Be here. Keep a tab open. Obviously, don't have me muted because you will not know. Just got to keep an eye on chat, innit? Right. Uh, it's worth noting that several medals will remain Guardian Games staples and not available during the playlists uh, normally. So don't expect finishers to grant you medals. Oh, thank God. Jarv, I just need to read this whole thing before making a, an assumption. Clearly, they've thought about everything. Uh, there are several new medals specific to the playlist, though, when they launch. So we can expect to see those in Season 23. Additionally, the selective of active medals will be determined based on currently active modifiers such as surges to ensure a, a variety of builds are used for acquiring those medals. All right. We've also recently focused more of our team's resources into more varied and frequent seasonal activities such as battlegrounds that can later make their way into the playlist alongside our strikes and eventually serve as new additions to the Nightfall and Grandmaster Nightfall playlists. While this can come as the cost of other content in a given year, we feel this exchange has been worth the extra investment for the overall health of our playlists. As a result, we have additional battlegrounds coming into the Nightfall and Grandmaster Nightfall rotations for Season 22 and 23 to keep players on their toes as the final shape launches. All right. Gambit! Are they doing anything to Gambit chat? All right, so the codes are single use. You need to be logged into your Bungie Rewards page with the, like the code page up or whatever. Be super, super prepared, chat. Super prepared. And then literally, I will paste it in chat. That's it. Literally paste it. 
What's that buff Starfire? Good to see you. Crow should have been a dungeon to BH. It, can't, it, can't, it does kind of depend what they do with uh, with, with Crota, but <sighs> I don't. I, I hope for if it is Crota, I do hope it's not unnecessarily convoluted mechanics just for the sake of longing out encounters. Duddits made a great point where you had like the uh, you know the opening opening section of Crota where you go through like the the maze with the lamps, the lanterns, and he's like, I hope we don't see this, and it was like the. Uh, you know the public event in uh, the throne world with like the pyramid kind of hoverboard imagine having to ride that just so it takes longer you know what i mean it's just like i just hope it ain't things like that and it's actually fun stuff didn't care for b point on it wasn't b point where heavy would always spawn like on the outside on the island right by b so for Gambit, as many of you have noticed, it's been quiet on Gambit since last year's overhaul that launched alongside Witch Queen. And in that revamp, the team significantly changed across five categories in Gambit's core activity fundamentals, primeval tuning, invasion, ammo, economy, and rewards. But unfortunately, these updates didn't move the needle for player engagement. Although we know our Gambit fans mostly care about new and returning maps this is an area of the game with lower engagement than would take resources away from more popular parts of the game to shore up oh, it's like being fed a shit sandwich while we don't have plans to dedicate more resources to significantly transform gambit we do have a few updates planned for the year of the final shape and this includes porting the cathedral of scars map and its beautiful dreaming city setting into the latest version of destiny 2 as well as adding the Shadow Legion and Lucent Hive enemy types. They're adding a lot from the Dreaming City chat. We're getting Citadel back for Crucible and Cathedral of Scars back for Gambit. What have they got planned for the Dreaming City? Did they announce the raid yet? No, I don't think they've announced the raid yet. Not yet. Unless they have and it's in this article and I haven't got that far yet. But before then, they're making Gambit entirely optional to maximize the rewards unless you're looking for a piece of gear that's specific to the mode. Gambit will continue to serve as a source for exotic end grounds via the weekly challenge, though, as we've mentioned above, you'll be able to complete all your weekly challenges in any ritual you like starting in Season 22. So if you want to stick to Vanguard or Crucible or Gambit challenges without touching any of the other modes, then you can do that now. Uh, they're also reducing the number of gambit specific seasonal changes starting in season 22 is it me i guess it's not just me then that just leaves all their gambit challenges until like the last two weeks of the season whenever it's bonus gambit ranks that'd be like my week to just knock out gambit that's it it's my gambit week for the season Wait, that's all? New enemies? I mean, it does mean new bosses, though. They're also reducing the number of Gambit-specific seasonal changes. Yeah, we just said that. So players don't need to bank moats to be able to earn a big purse of Bright Dust. Or completely completing nearly every challenge in a season. Finally, they're adding fire team matchmaking to Gambit next season, which will replace the freelance mode. Uh, should result in faster and better matchmaking to, uh, by combining both of the playlists. They're basically streamlining it, really. They're streamlining Gambit and adding new enemies and a map. We'll keep an eye on reception and player engagement after these additions take place, and we hope you'll visit Old Drifter next season to get your hands on the new Void Machine Gun. I don't know, man. I feel like... <sighs> Gambit was such a great concept when it was like shown to us in Forsaken but I, I do kind of wonder where player engagement kind of just fell off a cliff for it tried to claim that it was in the wrong format has it got a space on it
buff star fire already claimed it there we go look you just gotta be quicker man get good yeah <laughs> be quicker yes the sentient obscure emblem yeah Right, that's two. We've got eight now. Armor set rewards. Ooh. A long time ago, we shared a plan to address concerns on reward balance. Players have pointed out that they didn't release a new armor set for ritual playlists, such as Vanguard, Crystal Ball, Gambit, with Lightfall, as previously called out in our yearly release schedule. Delivering ritual armor sets at rates we have in the past is becoming increasingly challenging. Especially considering these sets have historically had low adoption by players as both base sets and cosmetic ornaments. <sighs> it's, I mean, that's all linked to like players like rarity, right? People like to look badass and they like rare stuff. If you've got stuff on a ritual vendor, ornament or armor, any, any, you know, any Tom, Dick or Harry can go pick that up. Really? So it doesn't feel special. If it doesn't feel special, then you're not going to wear it. That's just what it boils down to. It's not that the armor didn't look great. It's just like too easy. I mean, that's why people like to wear trials armor because it makes them look like a badass and they've had to grind for it. You know? Right, like the dungeon armor. Dick! So good. How did I get the codes? Uh, Bungie gave them to me. You would love to claim a code for an emblem, but you're on mobile at work. Yeah, mobile is not the easiest, uh, shall we say, when it comes to emblems and stuff. Are they rare then? Let's have a look. There we go. So, this is the emblem. Sure, how many people have this? Awarded by winning a Destiny 2 content creator giveaway during Season of the Deep. Yeah, boy. So, at this time, Bungie are amending our delivery plans on how often they refresh the armor sets and will no longer be creating a new set for every expansion. However, they are prioritizing the delivery of a new ritual armor set alongside the final shape to infuse some new looks you'll be able to show off from your time in the Vanguard, Crucible and Gambit playlists. We also have a new set for Trials releasing in just a few weeks time and here's a preview of the armor coming in Season 22. How we, what we, what, let's, let's get some ratings out of 10 for that Trials armor chat. What's up, Michael? Good to see you, dude. Happy Thursday, dude. Anything happening with Gambit? Uh, they are adding back the Cathedral uh, Dreaming City map, and they are also adding Scorn and Lucent Hive as combatants and a Void Machine Gun as a reward. But player engagement is... They've acknowledged that player engagement is relatively low in that playlist. Saint Armor set, 10 out of 10? Yeah, Saint set, sick, isn't it? 4 out of 10. Not as mythical and epic as others. Five, eight out of ten, three out of ten. It's not the greatest picture. 
Game security. Cheaters. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look at some cheaters. So the security team works to prevent cheaters from ruining the experiences for legit 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 legitimate players. Terrier Wasp. Thank you for following me on Twitch, bro. Um, so whether that be directly in competitive PvP activities or indirectly via boosting or making new burner accounts and bringing them into the end game like trials. Here are a few things from 2023 that we can share with you about our ongoing mission to protect players from cheaters and enable players to experience the game as the designers intended so what's changed in security so over the course of the year they've invested further into data science and learning and machine machine learning sorry building confidence in detection that they produce these tools allow them to preserve and evaluate player behavior in ways and issues an increased number of actions in response so in addition they've continued to adapt new policies to protect players including the abuse of external accessibility tools policy the development of this policy policy has allowed us to catch cheaters that we may not have otherwise caught. This policy not only gives us a new avenue of action to action this form of cheating, but this has also spurred us to investigate player behaviors in new ways. Dark Despair and Actorus, thank you for the follows as well. And they've also worked with BattleEye to address a network manipulation tools, improving their data collection, detection, and mitigation strategies competition is best when fair so they will continue to issue bans or restrictions to those abusing those methods so can you address some recent actions so as a result of extension ext extensive investigations and the evolution of the tools at our dispos disposal we are we were recently able to issue one of the largest ban waves in our history against account recoveries and boosting services and the players who used those services as our tool set evolves, we continue to build in generous thresholds to help minimize the risk of false positives. We also consider multiple factors when issuing bans as an additional safety measure to any set threshold. Hellstrup, thank you as well, dude. What's next for security? So they'll continue to evolve their preparation, or sorry, prevention, detection, and ban hammer cap capabilities, but these are just part of their overall strategy to combat cheating. Their legal team is also aggressively pursuing cheat makers across the globe in an effort to remove the source of the cheat software before it's even distributed. They have been highly effective in both uncovering cheat makers and bringing lit litigation against them. So the preparation and execution of these lawsuits takes time and effort to be successful. This will always be an additive approach to our overall anti-cheat effort as part of in-game security solutions to remove cheaters from our game. And one last reminder, as always, we receive countless messages from banned accounts that state they don't remember cheating. When we investigate these cases, we often find that they gave their account to someone else to play the game for them. We again remind everyone that you must protect your account and not use recovery services. Saying that your fingers were not at the keyboard when cheating occurred will not help you in an appeal. Oof. Oof. Huge bomb. Sounds like therapy for Bungie rather than fun for Guardians. I mean, a more secure game will definitely be more fun for Guardians. But they can also only be so transparent about the measures they take without risking the security that can be then circumvented to cheat anyway, right? So there's only so much they can say. But ultimately, a, a safer game is a fairer game. And that is a more fun game. Stability issues. Oh, this is a chunky one, isn't it? Look at the size of this. It's a fair argument. Yeah. All good, Ben. You hate the argument. If you don't like it, don't play it. I mean, it is, that's a valid one, though. Like. No, no one's tying you to a chair, forcing you to play Crucible if you don't enjoy it. Really. I mean, Marlin just copied and pasted it. Seems fine. 
What was that code for? An emblem. You miss it? Lance, good to see you. Welcome in. All right. Game stability. So the stability of Destiny 2 servers is the foundation of the experience. If the game is down and you're kicked out of activities, everything else is irrelevant. So in late June, they provide an update to game stability and the steps that they were taking to make the game experience smooth and reliable. So today, they'd like to share more about what's been happening behind the scenes and what's next on the roadmap. So in their mid-21 season 21 update they rolled out a number of behind the scenes service improvements that provide an increase in stability that will set the stage for further updates and beyond uh, this includes new logs and metrics not only for the claim system that bungie spoke about but also many of the other services they use uh, we will also make major improvements to monitoring dashboards which now gives the bungie network operations center greater visibility of these systems allowing them to detect escalate and diagnose problems more quickly that sounds like a awesome mission control to be sat in to be honest we also uh, detected and fixed a bug with the sign-on system before it was able to cause any issues for player population that's it prevention is better than cure we love that all good neuro so when it's salty i mean don't get mad at the creator giving away the emblem we get, i mean I, I can't copy and paste it any quicker for you dudes like i'm just putting them out there if you if you're not quick enough then i don't, I don't know what to tell you really I mean, I could not give them away. I mean, that would be that would suck for everyone. <laughs> Jav inbox me a code. <laughs> if only if it's that easy. If only if it was that easy. What's the best way to get the retold tale? I mean, everything in the Dreaming City. Uh, probably um, you can farm blind well now, right? So you can just do that for dreaming city weapons yeah i made a video they are guaranteed drops as well it's an emblem guys i mean emblems are some of the most like highly fought and sought after things imagine being mad at pixels on a digital screen literally it is it blows my mind i don't care i was given 20 emblems i'll give them away i'm not even taking one for myself i i, I it really doesn't matter to me I, I use the Aurora Clash emblem, uh, which I earned through a Bungie bounty. That's more valuable to me. So it is what it is. Your content with the emblems you have. Exactly. It, it, people will get the emblem. They might wear it for a week. And then season 23 will come out or 22. And there'll be another emblem to go after. And Or Twitch will do their prime double subs for another emblem and a shader or whatever, you know. It's a cycle, but ultimately you always go back to one or two emblems. It's the same with like my ships and ghosts. I always go back to Sagira's ghost shell. I always go back to the um, the ship from um, Black Armory. I always, you always do it. You use the cat emblem. I mean, what from the Dreaming City? Yeah, I mean, but you had to get it. You had to, get, you had to find all the cats. So it's. It is what it is. Everyone has their reasons. Right, so moving towards 720, they're going to be beginning to do internal chaos testing. Gush. Using a new code that they've added and are already seeing that data to make more improvements in the update as well as a, uh, to verify current fixes that they have planned for the season. So as they do that work, they aren't just focusing on the claim system outlined on the roadmap, our efforts are also covering stability across 50 other services that help to make Destiny 2 run. And these include taking a close look at the load balance code, service to service communication code, and internal message processing pipelines. Literally, those are terms that is just alien to anyone. It just, just, it just tells you or shows you that under the hood, like Destiny is such a complex game. It doesn't surprise me that it has issues from time to time. The difficulties of a live service game in 2023, right before our eyes, clearly. So 720 is focused on detecting and fixing current stability issues. The theme 730, which is the 23 launch update, will be helping to protect us against stability issues that might occur in the future. 
work here will focus on systems like auto recovery making internal systems healthier and further isolation systems from one another so that the problems in one area are less likely to cascade into issues in another we want our players to have the best possible experience and we view our work with destiny services as a long-term project that we will continue to invest in beyond season 23 and into the future that's reassuring seasonal structure oh yes sony buying bungee you figure they'd upgrade the servers right <sighs> cookie if, if if only it was if only it was that easy my friend if only it that it was that easy Just to cut a long story short, easy to say, hard to do. That is pretty much game development, right? Easy to say and suggest something. It's normally really complex to implement, right? So it's just the nature of the beast. Just tuned in, how's the vibe? We're chilling, man. We're big chilling. We're reading through the state of the game. I've given away three emblems. I've got seven left to give away. And in an hour's time, we'll be getting to some competitive fishing. And we'll be making use of our Wheel of Prizes, which isn't there. We love that. That's the wrong screen, though, isn't it? Where's it gone? Oh, it's my other window gone. Try again. There it is. The win of prizes. My God. So yeah, we have Destiny fishing hats. We have exotic fish pin sets from Bungie Store. We also have uh, Season of the Deep t-shirts. So the idea of this wheel, it's in the pin comment above. It's, uh, we'll be fishing and for every exotic or legendary fish that me, Grandad or Pigeon get, will have a chance to spin this wheel and that will allow us as a creator to win that prize for our community which is for me you guys sat here right now so at the end once all the prizes have been won by us three we'll then be free to raffle them to our respective communities that'd be you guys so for what i win i give to you so if you want to win any of those prizes you just need to be here and i'll be raffling them away it's as simple as that um and they're all naturally they're all physical irl items you'll get a code to use over in the bungee store so you don't need to give me your info gdpr no risk you literally use your own bungee store account you literally put in the code bob's your uncle vanish your aunt and uh you get your item shipped out to you it's easy as that what's my favorite fish to catch in the fishing spots I quite like the Vex one. I quite like the look, the fact that it's got like a, a goblin's head. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Seasonal structure. So they mentioned back in February, they've been working behind the scenes to shake up the seasonal paradigm this year to subvert player expectations and to make seasons feel more unique. That's definitely an issue. We know our players are looking for more variety in repeatable seasonal activities. And more than anything, we want to constantly surprise everyone with what comes next in each season although we'll talk more about this below and you'll see it in action in the showcase we're giving ourselves more freedom to stretch narratively in gameplay systems through seasons 22 and 23 and we hope we'll be enjoying some of those rides which start later this month cool preview what's to come so before we get into our six month progress report on our goals for the year we want to share some previews of several quality of life upgrades and core sandbox updates coming to season 22 and some of these are designed to simply make your everyday destiny 2 experience better others should result in substantial meta refreshes for both pve and pvp nice at our midpoint in lightfall's year we hope the sum of season 22's updates along with new content we've called out here and everything yet to be revealed in the showcase this will make destiny 2 feel as fresh and exciting as ever for as many players as possible so quality of life sometimes it's the seemingly smaller improvements that can have the biggest upgrades to how you engage with destiny 2 every day and here's a quick look at some of those quality of life improvements starting in season 22 
cosmetic favoriting at long last you'll be able to pin up to 100 of your favorite shaders ornaments and emotes to the top of the list starting in season 22 all right that's pretty pog that's pretty good are they going to change the way that shaders are actually organized because they are pretty bad just i know you can favorite them so you could argue that you could circumvent that issue by just favoriting your one true but prevention is better than sometimes better than the cure right i like to be able to favorite it but if i want to search them in alphabetical order or i just want to look at all the red shaders let me put filters on them They need a search function, yeah, or even just the filters, like you do for like the vault. You have uh, like uh, your weapon types and stuff like that. We just do your shader types, like as in like the primary color of that shader, or whatever, or what season it's from. Stasis aspects and fragments move to the vendor system. Any character who's completed Beyond Light's campaign will be able to acquire all available stasis aspects and fragments from Elsie Bray on Europa starting from next season. So that, what, you won't have to earn them anymore? Is that it? You just won't have to earn them? You don't have any? You're so happy? I mean, to be honest, Kev, they were a grind, my friend. Like, if you don't have to earn them, that is a huge dub on your part. Like... It was time gated before. Oh, yeah. Transmats will now be unlocks. Yeah, man. That's so weird. I've just got loads in my inventory for no reason. Kind of weird. Um, so, like shaders before them, transmats will now be stored as unlocks on your account rather than consumables. Feel free to change. Transmax, transmats at will without needing to grab copies from collections or find them in the wild. Yeah, kind of weird. It also means that you can't just uh, combine them and use them as a material farm, which is what was being done before. Wish Ender Pursuit Improvements. So the Wish Ender quest has gone through a number of changes throughout the years, and in Season 22, it becomes a real quest. An actual quest. No more charged or uncharged discs sitting in your inventory. Just a single quest strand in your quest log strand what just a single quest strand in your quest log oh resources tab this is a change that we're really excited about we now have a resources tab in your collections which shows you all the currencies upgrade materials and engrams in the game appropriately categorized with information on how to acquire it as well as what to do with it once you have it that's a good new light player improvement that is there's nothing worse than getting into a complex game that has multiple layers of economy materials and and uh, and systems and not fully understanding it i mean destiny 2 doesn't have the greatest new light experience when it comes to onboarding even after the rework but having a screen like this where you can literally go and find out what is this that i've got in my inventory where, where did it come from or what do I need to do? Where do I use it? It's good. It's a good quality of life change. Iron Banner challenges are split. So with Pinnacle Rewards not being a big of a draw as they once were season over season since Season of the Deep began, we felt it was time to split the Pinnacle Acquisition and Reputation Multipliers we added back in Season of the Haunted. So starting next season... Our banner will have two different stacking challenges each day. One for players who want their reputation multiplier, which does not require using specific subclasses, by the way. And one for players who are going for their pinnacle rewards, which does require subclass requirements. So, good. Pick your path. Take it. I like that. Seeing everyone using stasis or void was really annoying. <laughs> Ritual rank ups immediately. So dating all the way back in season three, ritual reputations, previously known as Valor, Glory, and Infamy. Wow, that's a throwback. 
Wait until you hit orbit to process any rank ups because the almost full screen banner would overwrite the scoreboard if it showed up any earlier. When we revamped and streamlined reputations over the last few years, we moved the rank up banner to the bottom of the screen and made them less com conspicuous. But we left the, pre the processing of the rank up until you hit orbit. Now we've finally taken a step and made the rank up process immediately at the end of the activity. So no more waiting for your rewards. They'll just show up right away in your in your loot stream. All right. It's good. It's good. They said the hunter armor was some type of bird. What, for trials? New strand aspects. So starting in season 22, they're adding three new aspects to enhance strand even further by adding unique dynamic gameplay elements. And these aspects will be whirling maelstrom for the hunter, banner of war for the titans and weave walk for warlock. Stay tuned for more info as we get closer to the launch. Exotic, exotic armor rework part two. Similar to our first wave of revamps in Season of the Deep, the team is reworking another batch of underused exotic armor pieces in Season 22 to shake things up and give players a new reason to dive into their vaults. Watch for a new Developer Insight article going live next week to cover all the changes we've got coming. Juicy. New weapon subfamilies. So looking further into the future, they're introducing some entirely new weapon subfamilies in Final Shape. We'll need to tune into the showcase on the 22nd of August, which we'll be streaming right here on the channel, by the way, to get our first look at some of those in action, as well as some of the other unexpected additions to Destiny 2's arsenal yet to come. Oof. Weapon. Weapon tuning preview. Oh, yeah. So, if you didn't catch our mid season weapon tuning update, you might not know that we have substantial shakeups coming to weapons in season 22 in the form of decoupling damage fall off from range. There was, that's been heavily covered in that recent tuning blog. They'll share more details in the upcoming weapon balance update article. But for now, here's a high level look at what their goals are. So they want to reduce the variance between the optimal engagement ranges of the mid range weapons. That includes auto rifles, pulse rifles and hand cannons. And they want to slightly reduce the average engagement range increasable by pulling in the maximum damage fall off distance for many weapons. So to do this, the highest achievable damage fall off range on almost all weapons will be reduced to some extent with certain weapons being reduced more than others. And then in many cases, the lower edge of their damage fall off ranges will be bumped up a little bit. Keep in mind, even with their damage fall off start values being similar, weapons will perform differently once their damage fall off begins. As they currently do live in a live game, rifle style weapons will experience fall off more gradually, while handheld ones will experience a more quick. But the differences should be less extreme. We also have a hand tuned, a small list of exotics and all special weapons with the intention of keeping them near where they are in the live game, as opposed to allowing them to receive oversized buffs or nerfs with these overarching changes. We'll share all the info on that in the up and coming weapons preview article as well. Touch of malice. Getting a massive buff. Where can you find all this information? You can find it on bungie.net forward slash destiny 2 sorry about the caps what's the news on the armor uh there's new trials of armor they're not really doing ritual vendor armor anymore because it's got low acquisition but they are bringing something in that allows us to do ornaments instead uh, yep yeah, that's as far as we got for armor
All right. Right, next section. So in addition to this, there are a lot of other things to look forward to in Season 22. It's not a comp comprehensive list. But we want to give you a sneaky peek. So hand cannons will see increased reload speeds. And PEV, PVE damage buffs against minor and major combatants. Sword full power heavy attacks will use... Will be un... What? Will be usable with any non-zero amount of sword energy. Sword full power heavy attacks will be usable with any non-zero amounts of sword energy. Oh, so if you had like one, you could still do the heavy attack. And sword guards are being buffed in several areas. The touch of Manus is getting a tweak that we think some players will enjoy. And perks such as Bipod, Envious Assassin and Under Rover will become more useful in Season 22. Yeah, we covered that in the preview as well. So that's known info. Reinforcing our goals for the year. Do I think the changes to how they're handling Gambit will be self-fulfilling prophecy that leads to the death of the game mode? I don't think it's enough to save it. So it's kind of putting the nail in the coffin for me. For Gambit. Gambit wasn't an, wasn't in the great place just as, just because of player engagement generally. But... I think adding an old map and two new combatant types. Yes, you got a new machine gun, but I don't I still don't think there's enough there, personally. It's hard because I don't know what the answer is either with Gambit. You know what I mean? I feel like Gambit would be better as like a blind well kind of activity. You know what I mean? Just stick it in a destination somewhere that's public that match makes people together and you kind of play it like that casually in a public space. PvE, BP, maybe. You know what I mean? No Reckoning in return either. Bungie didn't like Reckoning, man. They've admitted it themselves. It was, they designed Reckoning try and combat the power creep in destiny because we were just so goddamn powerful they don't like the idea of combatants spawning behind us stuff like that yeah true frostbitten's true so six months ago bungie laid out their plan to achieve four main goals for destiny 2 in our previous state of the game expand players imaginations bring challenge back to destiny enrich the content and connect with guardians so with lightfall and it's two seasons under the belt and the launch of season 22 and the showcase just around the corner we'd like to take a moment to catch everyone up on how far we've come on those goals and where we're going from here so here's our destiny 2 scorecard so first up we got expanding players imaginations So in Lightfall and Season of Defiance, we transformed many of the ways players typically interact with the game from core systems, to build crafting overhauls to streamlining seasonal currencies. With Season of the Deep, we replaced the typical vendor upgrade model and introduced the new deep dives activity and pressure trials, which present fresh experiments for Destiny 2 that we believe are worth the investment. While there's always room for us to revise and improve, the community's response has reinforced that we're on the right track with norm breaking efforts like these and we'll be rolling out something very new and different in season 23 now without spoiling anything ahead of the showcase our next season will be heading into a creative territory we've never explored before we're changing some things in a big way including the seasonal progression paradigm with an all new mechanic all will be revealed on august 22nd that is interesting Grim, good to see you, dude. Ah, oh, who got the emblem? Dang it. Who stole it? Reveal yourself, Guardian. Reveal yourself. Good to see you, Grim. Hope you're having a good Thursday, dude. You tried. It wasn't me. 
You were literally typing it in. It was me, Skeletor. Jedi got it. Let's go. Let's go. Season of the Deep. So taking a step back to examine the overall narrative for the year, the team is laser focused on ensuring the connection tissue in our storytelling between seasons 20 to 23 and the final shape is more impactful than the last year's seasons that led up to Lightfall. They're taking the feedback to heart and loading up this year with important moments designed to capture players' imaginations and move the saga forward with each beat. We've already proven this out in Season of the Deep with the revelations of the Witness's origin, substantial lore drops throughout Season of throughout the season in the Amuna and the implications of where our guardians go from here after the final missions cutscene. We know there's some who would have preferred the experience of these stories during Lightfall. With those players in mind, we believe the totally of this year's narratives will be set. The to the to what? The uh, why can't I say this word, Jarv? Totality of this year's narratives will set. The totality of this year's narratives will set the stage for the final shape in ways that a single story could never. Uh, and to put concerns to rest right now, the final shape and its raid will provide a climactic conclusion to the light and darkness saga before we look ahead at what comes next in Destiny 2. Woo! Climactic conclusion. Final shape and its raid. Are they going back to Taken King and having the raid as part of the main narrative? Engine 5, where's my emblem? Uh, it's in a spreadsheet right now, dude. But you got to be really quick if you want it. The, the witness better be the Dark Souls of Destiny bosses. It, mate. Uh, how do you how do you fight an entity? I'm not even going to say he's what he is. It's an entity that is a combination of an entire race. Like, how do you do that? Like... As a guardian, we are one. And I know we've got the Vanguard, we got Kyle, you know, we might even have a kind of small truce with with like Savathun to get us to a point where we can actually take on the witness right. I got the fallen as well. But is that enough? Is that enough? A new subclass. That's how we do it. That's how we'll take out the witness. Let's pay, let's pay to win. Let's give them a new subclass and they can only do that. <laughs> the witness is high though. He'd be balling on that track. The witness is massive. The witness will be the biggest boss we've ever fought. When I think about his size, it kind of takes me back to the inverted spire. You remember that glitch where the Minotaur boss at the end could kind of glitch and be like eight times the size? That's kind of how big I expect the witness to be. Like literally massive. <laughs> Give the witness a Snickers. <laughs> Glorbo final boss confirmed. Dude. Like if Bungie don't jump on that train just for the memes. Missed opportunity. I mean, you just have to rename a boss. Bringing back the challenge in Destiny. Did they achieve this? Although we were a bit uneven on this one at the start of the year, we feel we achieved this goal after making additional tweaks based on general feedback at Lightfall's launch. While enemies in the Immunia still pack a punch regardless of your level players have been able to steadily climb in power to take on those more difficult challenges than may have had a tough time with earlier in the year due to the absence of power level cap increases in season of the deep following the success of these changes we're confirming today that we won't be raising the power cap in season 22 shocker <laughs> kind of kind of felt like that was already going to be a thing We've seen a ton of positive feedback on this decision from players who appreciate being able to play at their own pace rather than feeling compelled to chase pinnacles each week. That's fair. But then it's, it's a toss up between that and having a reason to play. Pinnacles kind of power grind created a reason to play, but it didn't mean it was fun to play, right? 
kind of felt compulsory especially if you want to do gms or the raid or, or dungeon right There's, those, those are the challenges pretty much every season so Uh, they still have plenty of activities where power is crucial, including Master Raids, Dungeon Content, Legend and Master Lost Sectors, Grandmasters, Legend and Master Solo Lost Sectors, Trials of Osiris. This will still be the case throughout Season 22, and your artifact power will still be important as ever. So for those craving even tougher challenges, though, we've raised the bar on GMs, Nightfall Difficulty this season, with our first Psyops Battlegrounds GM, which will make an additional appearance before the end of the season for those that didn't get a chance to take it on the first time. As usual, we continue to monitor feedback as we do add more battlegrounds to the Vanguard and GM schedule later in Lightfall's year. So they're going to add the EDZ one, aren't they? I got that in the in the in the Vanguard playlist, and I forgot it was in the game. <laughs> Genuinely forgot it was in the game. Job on this fast as F. I think I'm just lucky, dude. Like. I, I, I was very fortunate on timing today. You hope the witness is a final shape boss, not a raid boss. Yeah. Bungie have very consciously taken the decision to not really have the main protagonist of an expansion as like the raid boss. Because not everyone like... I mean, more people raid than play Gambit, right? But that's still only maybe like 10 to 15% of the community. And Bungie have already admitted they want to increase that number. Not because they want to put narrative things in the raid that are critical to the story. But they want more people to enjoy what they perceive. And I to agree to an extent, some of their best content. But if like 80% of players aren't even going in the raid, then that's a massive chunk of people that you're kind of leaving out of main story stuff. So I kind of get it that it's only part of the DLC when you're kind of focusing in on story. Um, so yeah, I do kind of think that the witness will be just the final shape and the main protagonist for that. And it might be a disciple or, or something like that, potentially. But then it needs to be varied from like Rolk and Nezarek, right? Because those are, their, their theme is similar. They behave very differently though. So the op I mean, it's an opportunity. Ah, oh, unreal skills. You got skills. Appreciate it. There's like 15, <laughs> 10 to 15 people, not percent. It can feel like that sometimes if you're trying to find a team. Number three, enrich your content or our content rather. Based on feedback throughout the year of Witch Queen, we knew players wanted more exotic missions than that the community would need to discover on their own. We also heard that the request for long-time players for the return of a previously re released exotic mission that the team absolutely loved creating and we got more work to answer the call so in defiance they delivered an avlon exotic mission with the vex caliber as its prize for those who discovered the path into the vex network season to deep brought the whetstone exotic mission in deep dive in search of the new wicked implement exotic scout rifle and its catalyst and in just a few weeks we're bringing back some of destiny's best content we've ever made with our new exotic mission rotator starting on day one of season 22 that rotation will kick off with the return of Presage to offer a new avenue for players to earn the date Dead Man's Tail exotic scout rifle, another scout, which will also be craftable for the first time. And after that, it'll be Vox Obscura and Operation Serif's Shield will join the rotation, offering their respective craftable exotic weapons and catalysts as well. We'll have more details on what else to expect from exotic mission rotators in the up and coming This Week in Destiny blog as we get closer to launch. We covered all of that in our preview as well. That was all known. It is nice to have an exotic mission every season, but that has kind of set it up to be an expectation now. You know, when Whisper happened, it felt like, oh, and then it was quite a while before we got like um, the next one. So dead messages will be craftable. That's what it implies. I mean. So dead. Yeah, I guess it would be. Dead messenger would be craftable. DMT would be craftable. Hawk moon will go back into presage. No, it was the hawk moon? No, it wasn't the hawk moon. What am I talking about? It was DMT in presage. I'm chatting shit now. 
And then um Vox Obscura was Dead Messenger and then Operation Seraph Shield was um the pulse, yeah. Right, to recap the PvP front. We're delivering the new 22 season 22 content we mentioned above including brand new multiplex map new relic game mode checkmate modifier new competitive ascendant division emblem and a slick new trials armor set in addition to the new and returning weapons from the crucible iron banner and trials playlist will also have new sandbox overhauls exotic armor upgrades and weapon tuning changes to keep the meta fresh alongside the new ways to play pvp when the season kicks off later this month Finally, we called back in February that we were initially tr targeting more changes to ritual content in the final season of the year. While we've made a recent decision to push this in initiative to final shape, we have plans to replace some bounties with a more rewarding and engaging system tentatively called the Pathfinder. This is going to be debuted in a new destination in the final shape. And we're currently nailing down a plan for how we can use this new system to replace core ritual bounties in the new year. But now here's a work in progress preview of the Pathfinder UI. I mean, it looks nice. I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> what am I looking at? Are these just objectives you have to complete to navigate your way to like a pinnacle reward? I guess you'll get like small amounts of XP for completing these. So rather than doing... So they are bounties, but you don't pick them up. They're just forever there. And you work your way through until you earn the reward. And then it, it resets. Or you can only do a certain amount of these a day. I don't, I don't even know. There's so many questions, man. I don't know what I'm looking at. It looks clean, though. Typical quality UI. I mean, it's, there's definitely levels here, right? So there's legendaries here, right? So we've got a legendary one here. There's a legendary one there. So you've got one, two, two, three, four, five, six. So if you do like a tier six, you'll only need to complete two to get a legendary. You could do tier five. You have to work your way down. Ah, the higher you start up. So these are probably easier to do, but you have to complete more of them to get to there. And these are probably harder to do, but you have more of a direct path and also you can get like legendaries on the way. So no more cheese to save bounties. Pretty much, man. It's to get away from bounty hoarding. You, don't, you can't hoard bounties if they don't exist. I don't disagree with that. I would rather there be a, a proper system in place that incentivizes you, incentivizes you to play and grants you the relevant XP and rewards that feel like they value your time investment. That's that's what I want. Connection with our guardians. The gameplay systems and quality of life features we added in Lightfall made Destiny 2 the most welcoming it's ever been for new and returning players. And we're doubling down on this as we head into the final shape. Season 22 will include new ways to experience key in-game moments in Destiny 2's history to help get millions of Guardians caught up to the confrontation of the Witness. So in Season 23, our up-and-coming Fireteam Finder, the LFG system feature, will be the silver bullet for players who have never had a full Fireteam to run end-game content before. This includes raids, dungeons, master-level activities, and more. And in Final Shape, they're making big changes to the progression system that will help connect even more players and remove barriers, keeping friends from taking on the same content together. We'll have more detail on that in the showcase. Nice. I was I was waiting to see when they were going to talk about Fire Team Finder. Season 23, it hasn't. It slipped from 22 to 23 and it stayed there. So we will get it before Final Shape at least. Has the raid been confirmed? They've, the only thing they've confirmed officially about the raid, aside from everything that you might have heard or read, is the release date. That's all they've confirmed. They haven't confirmed what it is or anything like that. Is 
There's barely anything here to justify staying as a PvP player. Then I will direct you to bungie.net forward slash marathon where you'll find most of uh, the, the, the PvP efforts. Uh, but you might have to wait a while. The features list above combine with everything we're about to show on August the 22nd and everything yet to come will create the best gameplay experience for the widest possible audience that Destiny 2 has ever seen. The final shape is incredibly special to us as a culmination of Destiny 2's first decade and we're committed to making it just as special for all our players worldwide as the showdown with the Witness approaches. It's the Witness. We know we're going to fight this guy or gal or entity or whatever he is. She is. They is. Uh, thanks again for taking time to read this. Yeah, my throat is shot. Thanks, Bungie. Uh, today was just a piece of what we have in store. So if you don't run to you in the tower before then, be sure to hope to see you in chat on the showcase on the 22nd. Love you lots. Joe. Joe Blackburn. <laughs> Marathon. Who needs relationships when you have video games? LOL! Oh dear. Danny the Troll. Trolling me on uh, Twitch. Thank you for the follow there, my dude. Alright, well, that was a good look at the state of the game. Um... I don't know, man. I kind of feel... I kind of feel like this is a very reflective blog. It's more about looking back at the targets they set and where they are now versus those rather than really going, okay, yes, this is where we're... Looking, you, you need to be reflective. I get that. You need to obviously mark his, put a, you know, a line in the sand about where you are versus those targets. But there's nothing here or very little here that looks forward. You know what I mean? And I, I feel like there's a conscious effort there because if they ta start talking about major things other than Pathfinder, right? Then you start spoiling 22, Final Shape, maybe whatever's after that. But there's, uh, there still needs to be something there, you know? Pathfinder can't be the the only kind of forward-looking part of this blog, which it kind of mostly is. Gambit's kind of getting stuff, but it's stuff that's already in the game or it had previously. Crucible's getting a new map. Uh, a new emblem and stuff. Trials is getting new armor. So there is new, new stuff. But like... I don't know. I, I was just expecting... Bigger, like more fundamental changes. Like Pathfinder. They talked a bit about Seasonal Model, which I agree with. I'm excited to see what Season 22's got to offer. They seem to be excited about it. It's in a direction they've not really done before, so. Yeah. Wait, Lightfall was a filler expansion, right? Lightfall and the final shape was supposed to be just Lightfall. Uh, but then Bungie felt that they couldn't tell the entire story that they wanted to tell in a single expansion, so it kind of got... Uh, split and that's for me that's probably why Lightfall felt like it did narratively and it definitely is a reason why there was more questions than answers at the end of the campaign because had it been a single campaign all those kind of questions wouldn't have been there kind of thing um i was definitely expecting more i'm not gonna like sugarcoat it i was definitely expecting more you know, like in, I swear, like in previous ones, they've talked about like when they did the whole overhaul to like Armor 3.0 of all like, the mod systems, transmog. Um, obviously, they didn't really talk about crafting until Witch Queen came out, and then you had like, you know, those like huge systematic changes in the game. And then they, I mean, they, path, Pathfinder looks interesting, but they, they've not been able to really reveal too much because it's it's final shape stuff, right? So, 
give it all away. No power increase again. I can't say I'm surprised, Standard Man. Like, honestly, like I, f I felt like that all season that they're not going to do it. I feel like we might get one just before Lightfall. But that might only because we might maybe discover that we're nowhere near strong enough to take out the Witness. But I've always said to you, and I've always said to uh, been like really honest on here, like the power the power number is completely irrelevant. It's a gate, it's a it's a gate keeping metric to content, right? You can't do this because your number's not high enough. So I don't disagree with them taking that away to allow pay players to access content, but then they need to then supplement that with give that gives us a. Uh, a, a reason to play whether that be like the actual activity the rewards the systems that surround it right because like i said earlier like power level felt compulsory because it was the gateway to entry to things now that's not the case so interesting interesting though It's, that's the warlock right is that a titan it, it they, the titan armor mate that's the most warlock looking titan i've ever seen any new pvp stuff you're looking at it carly this is the the main crux of the new pvp part of destiny 2 going in going forward this is the new trials armor for the titan like i say it's the most warlock looking armor i've seen on a titan yet um not the greatest screenshot though I will i will give him that uh there is also though a little screenshot of the new crucible map called multiplex which takes place in the vex network which kind of reminds me of vertigo so prepare to fall a lot but they also did say that there's parts like part of the map is vex network and part of the map is mars so players don't get disorientated inside that they have re like they have reference points around the map I mean, the maps aren't massive. I don't know how you can get lost, but here we are. Here we are. But I like it. I like the aesthetic. I like. Uh, I just think it's weird releasing it like over a year after Splicer. But they did address that it takes time. So because ultimately the teams that go into making those maps, that map that you see there, is also the teams that go into all the seasonal content activities, destinations, all that kind of stuff. So you're kind of robbing P P Peter to pay Paul, right? Does he pay attention to YouTube chat? Costa, dude. I'm talking to chat right now, bro. I literally don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Turning a PvP activity into a PvP map. I mean, it's taken the, 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 the palette from it, isn't it? From the um, season of the Spicer. Uh, there's a couple of new game modes. We've got Checkmate. I, I, I mentioned that in the um, the preview video I made a couple of weeks back. It's more of a modifier than a game mode, to be fair, that can be applied to multiple modes. And Relic sounds quite interesting. So essentially, it starts off with gunplay. You build up a Relic charge. And once, you, once that's fully charged, you can go to a Relic Depot and pick up one of the main Relics. So that'd be the Aegis of the Vault of Glass, the Synaptic Spear, or the Siphon Haunted. And you can use that to take out guardians and it's with that you'll earn points for your team so i imagine those games are going to last a while i mean it depends how quickly it takes to build up your charge but it's supposed to be <laughs> just a light-hearted game mode compared to team scorched and mayhem so synaptic spear is going to be the best one to get though because you've got so many additional abilities and you can practically fly with the Aegis from Vault of Glass, right? <laughs> or put up a... You can just put up a protection shield, can't you? With the Aegis. I, I can see it now. All the all the PvP just going to be ju jumping into those activities and like practicing with the Aegis. <laughs> the snap, the snapped it spear. Yeah, the spear's strong. The scythe... 
This side's pretty pants, man. Fire along the ground. It's, it doesn't feel... It probably won't feel that much different to a wave frame grenade launcher, really. Really. But I think the other two definitely offer you something. The spear blink will be cracked, mate. Imagine running that just on arc, being amplified as well, dude. You're gonna be, you're gonna be fast as we. Literally gonna be all over the place. Ah, uh, cool hat. Appreciate it. You can actually win your own Destiny Two fishing hat. Do you want to find out how? Let's have a look. So in twenty minutes, not even long chat. It's flown by today. We're doing this. There might not be any content in the Crucible, but we're having a competitive tournament when it comes to fishing. That's between me, Grander Gaming, and Pigeon. So for every legendary or exotic fish we catch, we'll be winning prizes for you. These include... Well, they don't include those. I've got these. I've been giving these away in chat. Pigeon and Grandad have their own batch of emblems, which they'll be giving away in their own way. I'm just randomly posting them in chat, so... A self bleep soundboard. Oh no, that's just my uh, my Garrick Solar, which is a piece of f right now because they stopped supporting it. <laughs> so as long as it doesn't f break, then we're good. Um. So yeah, so every fish we catch will be coming to what we're calling the Wall of Prizes or the Wheel of Prizes, even, which is this, and we get to spin it. To win a prize for our community. So if I just got an exotic fish, for example, and I spin this, I've now won a fishing hat for my community, right? And as we win them all, we'll remove them from the wheel. And then once all prizes have been given out, I will be raffling them right here. So if you want to win one of uh, these items, then you're in the right place. We have the exotic fishing angler set from the bungee store we have the fishing hat we got 20 of those and then we got the season of the deep t-shirts as well and this is all done through the bungee store you don't have to give your deets to me no gdpr issues you go on bungee store you log in yourself i give you a code and that's it shipped out to you easy peasy Right, so I've given away four emblems, so let's make it five, and then that leaves us with another five uh, for the fishing rally. All right, let's boot up Destiny. Card, if I win, you can have it. <laughs> Not going to lie, that hat's sick. Not too bad. The t-shirt's all right, you know. I mean, that fishing hat is better than this. I mean, if you want to hide my hairline, you'd need a hat. And that one will hide your hairline all the way around. So if you're going like a full fryer tuck, you know, I need to hide everything. Like, it's perfect. You got it? There we go. Tea and crumpets. Let's go, dude. Enjoy. If you have been winning an emblem, be sure to tag me on Twitter, exclamation mark Twitter. Be sure to follow me on there anyway, because I literally gave away 10 of these emblems last week. Um, so you'll be doing yourself a disservice. Right, how much bait do I have? Pretty much max. I mean, let's max out my bait. What do I need to max out? Let me just run what? What do I need to run here? A deep dive? A public event, actually. Public event that give me bait. Winding cave. Standard. Your emblem, give it to me. <laughs> Great hat. Jesus. Oh, no. I've got auburn head. Does that count? All good ants. All good mates. 
like I say, I was given 20 um, and I'm giving, I've given 10 away on Twitter. I've given five away already and I've got another five to give away. So the emblem, I give, I get 20 codes. I get, I give away 20 codes. That's kind of how it is. I don't have that emblem myself. So I can't even show you what it looks like in game. So, oh, look at it. Game feels weird. Let me get some rallies. Is that one of you guys? Pesky little dregs. Get rid of the vault? Oh no. That's controversial, my friend. controversial there do i think the leaks of the new subclass are real uh i think it was leaked accidentally on purpose you know what i mean yeah i think they're kind of real Who needs airborne effectiveness when you have Thunderlord? What's the code that you see in chat that was posted by me? That's for the, uh, that's for the emblem. The Sentia Obscura emblem. Which is, uh, only available from content creators. So, I have another five to give away. So, basically, just be as quick as you can to redeem that code. And that emblem is yours. It's as simple as that. What have I told you? There's links that have just been confirmed now because of the state of the game. I would tell you that that was probably already known. Right? <laughs> probably. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, there's been so many pace bins, man. Ultimately, like, you, you always have to take them with a grain of salt because even if they are true, there's also a massive part where development paths change. So, it's hard. That's why I don't really tr make leaky videos like those because... <sighs> If, they, if a lot of it ends up not being true, then you've just created a, like a, a series of videos that's kind of setting up false promises, which is really, it's tough, isn't it? Plus, I have a decent relationship with Bungie, so I don't want to be an absolute and leak their stuff that they've worked hard not just time, but money to produce. You know what I mean? But this is it, though. Like, leaks do include mechanics and dungeon mechanics, like for raids. That's what happened with Root of Nightmares. There was, like, the update gets data mined. That's good. It will happen for whatever the reprised raid is next season. They'll, they'll data mine the game files. And the objective, the mechanic objectives will be known so then that way you can kind of loosely just figure out what those mechanics are it happened in root of nightmares and it will happen again until they can somehow not have them in the database it's augmented thank you for the follow on the twitch and jody tibbs as well when state of the game we've read through it man i i read through 15 pages and I only literally screwed up maybe like 
nine times. I think I spat on my screen maybe 12 times. I'm not really sure. Where's this freaking ship, bro? Here's me trying to get bait before the showdown. And uh, I'm not even standing on the objective. Isn't the reprise road going to be Wrath? It's, com it's still unknown at this point. I mean, I would be super happy with Wrath. I feel like Wrath is easier to bring up to 2023 standard. Compared to like Crota. Uh, but Crota has its own kind of nostalgia bit around it. But the only thing that would excite me for Crota is if they actually did bring in the Age of Triumph armor back as a obtainable reward. Where the frick is this ship, bro? Has it been and gone? Did we miss it or what? Literally, this is like the longest public event ever, bro. What is going on? Most people you talk want it to be Leviathan. Oh, mate. The only reason I don't want it to be Leviathan uh, is personally, I'm just not a big fan of Leviathan in general. But also, we I'm kind of Leviathan out. Like, we had it in Season of the Haunted. I know it had a bit of a refresh. If you want to call it that, an update. But, you know, we, we got, like, the entire Castellum. The seven missions that took place that season took place in the encounter spaces. No, come back! Shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Crota does fit more as a dungeon if you're basing it purely on length. There he is. Jesus, it's taking forever, man. Oh my god, what's Sharp doing? Oh. Moom! Thank you for the follow on Twitch as well. Let's see that out my uh, peripheral vision. You can sell the crater on day one. Why would I need to do it as a team, honestly? Well, I mean, that's valid. But I would fully expect the uh, mechanics to make it so you can't do that. Right, let me uh, let me get in GG's Discord because I think that's where we're hanging out. Where is it? Oh, my name is still Come On Spurs in there, man. That needs to change big time, dude, honestly. Right, let's go on there. Right. Right, I got full bait now, I think. I think I'm good. Yes. Right, let's go hand this in and then we're ready. We're ready to win prizes to give away. Jarv, do you add people on Destiny? Um, I... I had a few, but when the friends list gets a bit full, it makes it a bit difficult. So I have one or two. I'm not sure how many. I don't think I get invites come through. I had to turn them off because I was when I'm recording. Oh, no, not these beans. Oh, there's another wheel in here as well that got a spin. can't see it because of the virtual cam oh no what flavors have we got we got liver and onions cappuccino old bandage 
pomegranate, rotten egg or buttered popcorn. If I remember rightly, butter popcorn even not even that nice anyway. Toothpaste or blueberry. <laughs> I mean, toothpaste is practically just mint, so that's not awful. Bath or peach. Stink bug or toasted marshmallow. A bogey or juicy pear. Dirty dishwasher or birthday cake. Stinky socks or tutti fruity. Or a dead fish, which is quite fitting considering we're fishing. And a strawberry banana smoothie. So if any of Grandad or Pigeon get an exotic fish, I have to eat one of these beans. It will either be absolute pleasure or absolutely god awful. It's probably going to be the latter though, let's be honest. Could I add you? You can try. Uh, let me. Um, you can. If you drop your bungee name in chat, I can send you a request. From what I have read, Bungie is saying that they've changed their minds about new armor every big DLC because it's hard work, but Eververse gets brand new sets every three months. I'm confused. Um, I can't really disagree with there, uh, Grim. And the reason for that is the ritual playlists don't really generate revenue, whereas Eververse does, right? It's a big part of why Crucible doesn't get updates. It's a big part of why Gambit doesn't get updates. And PvE is the main part of Destiny, which is why the Vanguard playlist has been supported. But those ritual activities on their own aren't what people pay to play Destiny for, right? So that is why they aren't investing in rewards for those playlists. In my opinion, this is just my opinion. So everyone's entitled to theirs. But that's why you do see them in Eververse. And you see the crossovers and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, like, if people aren't wearing the armor, <laughs> then focus those efforts elsewhere. So there, it, there is uh, there is a bit of that to it as well. It... Money talks. It does talk, mate. I mean, <laughs> you have to remember, like. I mean, you all know this, but Destiny 2 is Bungie's main income source. So if it's not successful or doesn't generate revenue, then the production for Marathon, Matter, or any other of their projects are, you know, are at risk, let alone the maintenance and upkeep of Destiny. So it's imperative that Destiny is successful and continues to, you know, be supported because they don't have another game to generate revenue from in any way. You know, they'll make money through... Uh, like the bungee store, but like the, I mean, the, the revenue, the profits on those are, are nowhere near the profits, probably what they make in game through digital downloads. So it's absolutely critical. Money absolutely talks. Right, where's his prime? Oh, good, Grim. Oh, good. Yeah, Grim. It's just like, why spend money producing something that nobody's using that produce it in Eververse and then people will pay money for it? Like, it makes, it's, it makes absolute perfect business sense. But from a player standpoint, it's going to be like, well, there's no, there's even less rewards and incentives to run, uh, <laughs> to run those ritual activities. This is why I kind of called them out before reading the blog that I wanted to see what their support was moving forward for those. That and seasonal content. Those are my two big ones. Because like I said earlier, rituals are what carry the game when the season's quiet. So. Is my background real? Or this background? Oh, totally real. Yeah, it is. Yeah, see? No, it's not. It's not real. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> not real. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, I understand why they didn't want to show all three armor sets. But 
I'm pretty sure there might have been a better picture to show. Um, I like those kind of themed trials armors. Um, admittedly, even going back to Destiny One, like it's you, you can't really think of many bad trials armor sets, right? They don't really exist. Uh, They have the Sony production money as well, you have to keep in mind. Yeah, we don't know what that is, though. Like... I mean, well, Sony bought them, what, for 3 billion? But you have to remember that, that that's not all just profit for Bungie, because Bungie is mostly owned by... Um, the pe well, the people that work there, primarily, so... Hey, What's up, dudes? You all right, mate? Yeah. I literally started streaming, right? And then chat was like, oh, the state of the game's up. I was literally live for 10 minutes. I was like, oh, sick. Oh, dear. It's funny because, like... Did you read on stream? Yeah, yeah. Because, like... Oh, it was funny before stream. I was in, I was in the clan chat. And the, and the hound was like, oh, see, you, you, uh, I saw you scheduled your stream. I didn't know if you knew when the uh, the post was going to go live or whatever i was like oh no i haven't, I haven't got a clue mate I have, uh, you know it's quarter past six last year so i'm, I'm probably expecting about six o'clock and then bungee the tweet would be about, like nine minutes later something like that yeah. and then i was like right i'll see you later <laughs> i did like 10 minutes after i started it's like oh it's up <laughs> like, yeah. uh, thanks like, for the follow longer longer best anti-scholar and shadow facing Right, I didn't have full bait, mate, so I've, I've got full bait now. Oh, right, I had full bait, because I've not done any fishing. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get it all bit. Have you got a quest for uh, EDZ or the Throne World? A quest? Yeah, for uh, fishing. Where is it this week? Oh, I don't know where it is. Where's the hotspot? Where's the hotspot? Um... Oh, it's Throne World, cool. Right. Well, the fishing pond's shown as exotic in EDC as well. I think it could be anywhere, dude. All oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, it can be anywhere. Is, is it, have you checked Nessus? Is it's that not it? on Nessus. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's not next to Nessus, the icon. Yeah, oh, but yeah. It's, it's there on the, on the director, though. All oh, right. So they're everywhere now. Yeah, it looks like it is, yeah. Everywhere is kind of, like, boosted to try and help everyone get the exotic fishes. Nah. Well, if we can do EDZ or the Throne World, that'd be brilliant. Yeah, nice. Quest for that. Okay, yeah, whatever. Whatever you want. Hello, right, Pisa. Should uh, you enjoy your walk? Bloody beefy. Oh, <laughs> what? Anti Scholar. Or the follow i get follows on twitch dude i'm literally streaming on youtube it's mad uh, i think it's because it gets i get an on-screen notification while i'm streaming that, it, that they've followed whereas on if you sub on youtube it doesn't come up right. um i might have to switch that back on the old subs on youtube i kind of miss those increased oh yeah it's all three yeah 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 uh should i join you then and you take us wherever it is that you want to fish yeah, yeah. Spooky. Oh, I've got my beans here, man. I'm not looking forward to it because there's I so many flavours, dude. I couldn't find mine, so I started, like, uh, thingy and thinking, shit, what can I... I've got some chewing gum. I could, like, pretend that's beans, but I found them in the end. <laughs> oh, did you? I was going to say, well, you could yeah, actually just eat them. your bogeys if you want. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've got, like, some... Uh, I've just had some raw, raw fish. Oh, oh. Fish. cold fish, so that could have counted. That's grim. Well, I've given away five emblems already. I've got another five to give away. I've just been kind of just dropping them yeah. in chat as we were reading the, the blog post. Yeah, I've already given a few away at weekend. Nice. Um, uh, so, you know, the codes, how do you think we should do it to know which ones we've used just just go down from the top so uh lands on summer and just delete them out of the thing because i i pasted them all into discord did you so yeah into my private discord uh well once we've got like 
how many we've won of each prize i guess then we can go okay i know you you take the top of those three brackets and then i'll take the middle and then the rest will be pigeons right yeah or whatever we do them after stream yeah 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 and in terms of the codes uh, the uh, yeah i mean i'm probably gonna yeah. i'm gonna raffle mine today once i've won them i'm gonna kind of raffle them at the end as um it's like <laughs> the the conclusion of today that's the that's the goal anyway oh i need to put that bloody thing in as well oh i thought it was going to do like spin the wheel yeah whatever the prize is and then do it there and then raffle it there and then we can raffle it there you know, and like then for, for while, while you while you're waiting for the next thingy to be caught yeah we can do that that sounds better than my idea mm. uh that means i need well, nightbot up then right people interested don't it nightbot my nightbot mm. Yeah, uh, giveaways. No, I won't just eat a bean, Dave. <laughs> cool, buddy. Cool. All right. All right. Let me. Uh, can you bring the thingy up a minute? The wheel, so I can put it into. Uh... Oh wait a minute! I've, I've got. Um... I've got Nightbot on the wrong tab. Wait a second. There we go. Let's move that. Uh, yeah, I can bring it up. Oh, yeah, I've got to bring it up on my stream, and I. Fishing time. Time to win prizes. What's the. <laughs> uh... Oh, bloody hell. What's the size of my monitor? Can't you do stretch to fit? I'm going to all buy a 1080. Uh, I suppose I could. 1920 by 1080. All good, Turbo. All good, mate. Yeah, we're going to raffle these off. Yeah, it sounds like a better idea, dude, than just like waiting to the end. Because otherwise, it's like if you win, like, I don't know, if you won most of the prizes, you're going to be there all night, mate. You know what I mean? So, yeah. What do I think of the state of the game article? Um, I think it's a very reflective piece rather than one that really looks forward or provides any kind of visions looking ahead yes it provides like little bits about like what's happening what we get what we are getting in the ritual activities it talks about the new path finder um ui and how that's going to maybe replace bounties but a lot of it was really summarizing whether they hit their four main goals that they set and whether they've been like achieving them really so i was expecting more if i'm honest I do understand I don't want to spoil everything ahead of a showcase, but <laughs> release the release the blog after the showcase then. I don't think anyone would have been sad if they didn't have a state of the game this week and waited until after the showcase to kind of provide a more clearer picture looking forward because you're not really spoiling as much because you've kind of shown it to everyone. Um and it will at least help provide context to what they showed us. Um so that's just my opinion there. Why? Ah, oh, there we go. Side, yep. Side. Done it. You like the logo in the middle? Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? It was pretty obvious that I think that it wasn't going to be a big one when you've got the showcase in what two and a half weeks or something. Is it? I don't know. Twenty second. Uh. Yeah. Twenty second. Yeah. No, they're not going to drop a load of surprises, are they? <laughs> when they've got that coming up. No, that's what I mean. That's like it. That's what I said. It's like it would have made more sense to go. Like I don't think anyone would have been sad if they didn't release that article this week because they've got another article yeah. next week, which is developer insight, providing you know a look at some of the changes coming, which is fine. Developer insights have their place, but I feel like an article like that, which is like a once a year thing, like a showcase. Yeah. Do it after the showcase. You've shown us stuff that's coming. So it means you can provide more context to it and how that supports you achieving those goals. But they haven't provided any of that because they, they can't and they won't because they haven't they don't want to spoil it. Um yeah. I feel like it was too soon. I think it was a bit of a pointless exercise. Well the lightful one gonna, came out just when give hate. Oh, has she? Wasn't Lightfall's one like a couple of weeks before Lightfall, wasn't it? Two weeks before Lightfall, they've released the state of the game? Or like, 
But it wasn't called State Boy. of the Game. It was like the Lightfall kind of and beyond, wasn't it? Like from beyond kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. Just do that. Hey, Jim. What's happening? What's Did good? The twit? the twit just dropped. Kick. Uh, did it really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. I might need the the jar of reader readeru. Jar of readeru. Yeah. Oh my god, that is the lightest twab ever. Who'd I guess? Is it? Oh, I'll read that. No, no stress. I've already read like fifteen pages. What's another paragraph? <laughs> like, uh, this is... I, I can I can summarize it. You ready? If mid your state of the game has released, Solstice is happening still, but it finishes on Tuesday. The trials map is anomaly. Spoilers, anomaly with forty nine percent of the votes, and then it's your player support report followed by this week's move of the weeks, art of the weeks, and that's it. Oh yeah, that is mega light. That is lighter than a Kirkland brand sparkling water. That is, that is, that is light. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I can't say I didn't expect that with such a big article prior. So, All right. Well, thanks yeah, for the summary. <laughs> no worries. How okay. are we anyway? Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. Likewise, man. How you been? Pretty good. I was just taking on my meat there. Oh. <laughs> what? During streams? <laughs> kind of inappropriate, isn't it? Like, yeah. No, no, I had it out and calm and everything. <laughs> it was good. Going pretty soft. Oh, mate. <laughs> Don't blame you after that blog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, dude. Uh, I'm going I'm to turn off the X app for a little bit. <sighs> right. I wonder we. So GG said about raffling the prizes as we win them with our relevant, with our chats and stuff. That kind of makes sense, right? That rather than just bashing them all up, because then we can yeah, I, I we can log we the prize like... and then the name of the winner, and then we can do that. Yeah. Do you have the, the spreadsheet open? Have we got a spreadsheet? I've got a spreadsheet. There was the, they gave us on the the doc like the document. Was yeah, there a... the Microsoft Word document. Why did you make a Google sheet? No, not yet. No, I'm not uh, asking. Uh, I could quickly do that. It's not a... Do you want to quickly do that and just send me a link? And then we can just all, we can just all update it as we go through, can't we? Yeah, that yes. makes sense. I'm so prepared, right, don't, chat. Don't be, uh, don't be having a bloody meltdown i'm gonna be ignoring you for 10 minutes when i do that uh, so i'm used to oh, it all right you. mate you, you ignore me all day you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah who, who's taking a target on spreadsheet assimilation gg's got Maybe spreadsheet duties and i've got spinning the wheel duties so i think that's probably fair right okay just so we can we can do this properly i'll i'll be raffle i was thinking we'll raffle out for each chat yeah when Right, let me just summarize. We've got our entire prize pool on that wheel, yeah? Yeah. Each time we grab a legendary or exotic fish, yeah. spin the wheel, mm -hmm. and then we can deduct that prize from the wheel. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. And, and then, then the winner of that chat. prize raffles it we'll... to their chat, basically. Yeah, and we'll... And then we'll log it on the uh, spreadsheet. What? We'll log on the spreadsheet, username etc usernames okay. yeah uh, i will be imposing followers only modes for quite a few of the giveaways because i've got plenty of first time chatters here today oh good wait job not live huh uh, i'm definitely live he's on, YouTube. he's on youtube augmented i've been alive for like two hours i read the whole blog and i've lost my voice yeah go sub to job on youtube it's free. Oh, we, we love free stuff. Oh no, this guy. This oh, bloody hell. Fucking knew it. I could smell. I could smell it. You know. Okay. <laughs> Fucking beefy will be here in a minute. I can go and see it. Yeah, they'll all right, join wish, yeah. Uh, what's your? Uh, can you put your email addresses in that thing so I can? Oh, I might have it actually. Yeah, I've got, I've got them. You've got, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, you should have them. On that email, yeah. 
Yeah, just make sure not to share, you know, our national insurance numbers. And I our... know, I know, yes. Yeah, you know I mean. Uh, Pidgey 1972. I didn't know you were born in 1972, <laughs> Pidgey. <laughs> what? Bloody hell. Your email address. Pidgey 1972. 1972, it's actually 1872, bro. No. <laughs> oh, it's Keith. There we are, there we are. How does That's someone it, get selected for the in. wheel again? All right. Is so, that for the, the dock? So at the, yeah, top of, yeah. at the top of chat, I've put like a rundown of how today's plans out. So each catch unlocks a spin on the wheel of prizes. It has to be a legendary or an exotic fish. And then that dictates who wins the prize and what the prize is and then um that person whether it be me granddad or pigeon depending on who wins will then raffle that to their chat and yeah. the other two members will have to eat oh spicy beans, spicy beans and well, go flavored beans. flavored beans and do I'm the bean challenge i have i have i could count these out probably so let me see three four six eight 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. I've got like 22 beans here. And That's there's more than enough, right? Well, I don't know, mate. There's yeah. 45 prizes, so... You know, you might, might actually have to go start eating some bog roll or something Whee! if you run out. We're in. We're in? First one. Definitely He's already Whisker. started. That's Sheen. Wait, wait. Oh, we not started yet? Oh, no, sorry, I was waiting for the spreadsheet, bro. Are you oh, doing... Right, I thought you was here. Oh, no. This guy, it's guy. This guy. Cheating. Right, right. That don't, that don't count, that one. Cheater, right, man. Did you not read the state yeah. of the game? People like you. No, I'm joking. <laughs> right. Let's, uh, My let's... guy, Grandad Gaming, has just caught a legend of shit off the rip. You know what? You just spent all your RNG, Grandad. That's it. I know, I have. I have, yeah. It. Yeah, mate. I, I thought we started. You didn't say start. Oh, I didn't know we were having a blooding adjudicator, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Darf, do you have an OBS source for the wheel? Uh, you know, I think GG's just added, like, my stream URL as a browser thing. So then it, because I'll yeah, switch to it. it. And then just cropped it. Stop jumping about what you give me in that day. <laughs> The suspense. Oh dear. What do I want for dinner? Not not dead fish uh, or any form of fish. Um, you've got your phone so, in your hand, so I, I, I wouldn't start, mate. You bloody. I know. No, Scottish Scottish friend is not ready. Wait, have we started. Okay, fuck. Here we go. We started. Bloody Don't hell. put the rod in his hand. Wait, I thought we started, didn't we? I Let's literally thought Let's we started. Come on, come on, come on. Working. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, shit. I fucked it. Oh, no. Damn it, damn it. Oh, by the way, uh, where's the link for the wheel? <laughs> Are you not ready yet? I'm ready. Let's go. Get it right. Oh, no. no, no this, this is not fair. No I can't I believe it. it. Let's go. Get those beans down, you boy. Oh, uh, mate. Do you want to spin the wheel first? My, my yep. key binds weren't ready. My key binds were on there. Right, let me go to the wheel. Let me go for the wheel. Why is my... Are you, let me know when you can see it, Pidge. You good. Oh. Wheel, hang on. Wheel, wheel, wheel. Yeah, go on. I'm not ready. Oh shit. I need to get my tabs. He's jar, jar spinning it, jar spinning it. We're going to raffle off. Ah. Uh... Destiny 2 t shirt. Looks like a Destiny 2 t shirt. Ah, woo! You're just going to manage that out for me, yeah? Get me. Ugh, can't believe already. Now I've got to pick a bean to eat, chat. I'm not looking. I just got asked what I want for dinner, and now I've got to eat a bean. I'm like, what the frick? Uh. And there's the public event. Oh, it is. My first raffle. Huh? May the forces be with me. I'm dreading this. This is not going to be good, is it? 
All right. What, 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 what flavor shall we go for, chat? Like, we got quite a few to choose from there. I don't know what color. How many more emblems do I have left? I've got five currently left. Uh, brown one, orange one. Oh, no. This is not good, is it? What What is the brown one? Don't read it. Don't read it. Don't read it. Oh, no. I need, to, I need to know, babe. I can't just, like, stick it in my mouth. Not very nice. Dead fish or puke. Love that. All right, we got... What color is that? What's that? Could be? That could be peach or, or sick, I think. That's not nice, whatever that is. What is that? That is not nice, yeah. but it's not horrible ever. It's weird. Buttered popcorn. Yeah, I couldn't tell if it was a good one or a bad one. Ah, it's stuck in my teeth now, whatever it is. It's worse than a pube. <laughs> Right. Oh my god. I can't believe you got an exotic. That is not fair. It's going to have a way worse aftertaste. It actually doesn't. I can't pinpoint what the hell that is, man. I'm pretty sure it's bath. I guess you can't taste if your breath smells like right? So that's kind of uh, where I'm at with it, I guess. Where the codes, man? I'll stick one in chat while we're waiting. Um... The wheel doesn't have an emblem on it? No, because we have our own batch of emblems each to give away. So, um... There's, there's the code there, if you want one. Oh, wait a second. Ignore me, that code's already been redeemed. There you go. Typical Jav. Keanu got one? Let's go, dude. What's the code for? The, um... Is it Santia Obscura Emblem? I couldn't even show you what it looks like because I don't have it. Uh, where's my spreadsheet, boys? Uh, GG's got it. He's still not sent me yet. Shared it, I shared it, yeah. It'll be in shared documents. Oh, hang on, I'll just put it in the thing. <laughs> I thought it would be a link. Yeah. Right, yeah documents yeah. here through fishing vouchers. Okay, thank you, thank you. You got it, yeah. yeah. Open, yeah, yeah. This will update as I add to it, yeah. That's yeah. mine. Uh, you emailed it to us. Yeah, I'll put it in the group. Is that right? Cool. Oh, it. there it is. Why my, uh, why my keyboard's not working? Oh, mate, we're so... All right, cool, yeah. I'm All right, so I'll, I'll... Yeah, that makes sense. You know, that was kind of handy that we had a... Thanks a for the follow, event. Crespo. So we're having an in-game or why live? Well, we we read through the state of the game and now we're doing a, a fishing competition between me, Pigeon and Grandad and we're giving away prizes. So if you want to win some actual Destiny 2 stuff and possibly pick up an emblem, then you're in the right place. And you just found your new favorite Destiny 2 content creators. I know. Imagine not what? knowing. Is that not just like the best prize of all? And it was, and they provide the dankest free content on the web. Literally. Exactly. 
that's not to say don't drop those 10 gifted in chat. I'm <laughs> Times be hard, bro. <laughs> <It's really laughs> Oh yes, the old public event. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that bean wasn't a good one, but it wasn't bad enough for me to not enjoy it. Kind of strange. I think I'm gonna have to restart my PC. Why? Only my gaming one. My keyboard's not working. It's like. Can I just remap your mouse? You only need to fish. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You got loads of buttons on your mouse, didn't you? Yeah. Am I suddenly not working? It's weird. I sometimes get that, but not with my ma uh, keyboard, though. I see my keyboard. Like my mouse won't work on certain screens in Destiny. Like, um. Fishing point check. I'm still looking for it. There, it's coming up. Here it is. Here we go. More prizes to be won. Wonder if it's because I've deleted Armory Crate. Standing with ignition torques. Uh huh. Alright, here we go. Come on, Jarv, get us some fish. I'm trying, bro. Thanks for the follows, Pepe, Lewis. Thanks for the follow, Kosh. Oh, I should mute myself, sorry. What was that uh, hashtag we had last time, Grandad? Hashtag emblem robot giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Emblem. I went, uh, I pulled winners for the, the Twitter giveaways and the first winner I found was a fucking Tron bot. <laughs> Was a what bot? A prawn bot! Ah, uh, dear. Oh, prawn. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Prawn. I think I got quite lucky when I drew mine, like, looking at them. I like... got a big, massive prawn in my face. <laughs> when I opened up the page to see who it was. Can't believe I used my RNG before we were ready. Unlucky, bro. Come on, man. I need to get some fish in my life. It's subscriber look times ten. <laughs> <laughs> tempting, tempting. <laughs> Come on, the suspense. That's fair enough. There's quite a lot on that wheel, though. The angles, the angler said it's pretty, pretty nice with the pins. Yeah, I've got one of, one of them here. Have you? Yeah. I wouldn't mind the hat. Did he not send you one? Nah, man. I didn't get a hat. No, they didn't, they didn't send me one to pay for it. Oh, oh. my God. Well, I'm starting to go a bit fry a tuck, so I need something to hide it all, you know? Four times they took me money. Because I did it while I was in Paris. I think the internet was bad or something. All times. Yeah. I've only just been doofed for it. Oh dear. Refunded, but they sent me the emblems as well for all, all three, all four. Uh, and they asked if I'd have received emblems and I told them. Yeah. And they didn't, they didn't say what was the or anything. Where's my rod gone? Yeah. It's, if you got high frames, it disappears i think i don't know mate i don't know what happened there uh no exclamation mark just obscura because my keyboard's broken i can't do it. hey that's me oh nice one, frick all right let me just catch uh, this fish and then i'll go to the prize wheel yeah i'll do the emblem anyway first all right yeah well, at least it's not uh, an exotic. So I don't have to eat another bean, so there is that. Alright, I'm going to go to the prizes screen. Let me know when you're good. 
happened with Eric's no. granddad? <laughs> ah, come on, uh, yeah, do the prize. Let's have a look. Oh, it's another T-shirt. Look at that. Another T-shirt. Another T-shirt. So the winner of this emblem gets a T-shirt code as well. Is that eh? how you're doing it? An emblem on a doofa. Um, my emblems are going out in chat, so. Uh, uh. Yeah, I was thinking that I'll just do a couple of emblem giveaways. Oh, do you know what I could do? I could do the a marbles competition. Ah, oh, marbles. I wish that worked on YouTube, bro. It's kind of unfortunate. Yeah. Dude, my luck sucks. What is going on here? This is not even allowed. Like, how is this? Enjoy your beans, boys. Oh, man. All right. It's, it's, it's rigged. Rigged. <laughs> I don't see what we're giving away. Uh, pomegranate or old bandage. I don't like any of that. No. It says not in a valid format. That's the right format for the... Uh, make sure there's no spaces on the end or anything. Uh, otherwise, it may have already been redeemed. Right, let's go to the prizes thing. The pigeon can... Let me run it. Oh, we got it. Yeah. You ready, Pidge? I'm ready, sir. All right, let's... Spin that wheel. Let's spin it. Hey, it's a hat. Fishing hat. Fishing hat team, baby. Mate. Uh, loyal, send me a, send me a doofa before I forget. You whispered me instead. All oh, right, okay. Cool. Oh, yeah, I've got to do a bean. Oh, mate. Let me just catch this fish. Fingers crossed. My luck's got to change sometime. What's going on right now? We're fishing for prizes, and then we're going to raffle those prizes to you once I win them. So stick around for some free stuff. Right, let's have a look. What's that? Toasted marshmallow or stink bag? Uh, that's, that's not good. <laughs> that's not nice. What's that? Uh, that was instantly disgusting. That's dirty dishwasher, that is. God. Uh, that's grim. Dirty dishwasher. Uh, dishwater. Oh, it's, it's the aftertaste, man. I guess the other one was a decent one then, because... Boys, boys, boys! We got a legendary, at least. So you get away with it this time. Alright, let's pick a prize. For... For me? So, chat, what are we going to... What's up, Jockey? Uh, what are we going to win? Oh, it's a Destiny 2 t-shirt.
Destiny 2 t-shirt. Hi Kiwi! Thanks for the follow. Oh shit, man. Not bloody muted. <laughs> it's all good, mate. Don't worry about it. Alright. Right, chat. If you want to win a Destiny 2 t-shirt, you just need to type the word fish in chat. Simple as that. Get fishing. I need another drink. This is, that's, that dishwasher is not going. Fish. Type fish. To be honest, you'd love the fishing hat. Stick around, man. We've got plenty to give away, so might as well stick around, isn't it? Emblems dished out. Free prizes. We love that. Right, we don't want to stick here too long because we've got more prizes to give away. So, all right, that's ended. So let's roll it. It's augmented. Guardians, the scoring are on the move again. Towing Love that. Uh, augmented, make sure you're, you're jumping shots. into the community discord, dude. Just so we can... Um, Uh, make sure that you get it and then just raise a ticket with it says contact mods so you can just raise a support ticket uh, but we've got you on a spreadsheet you've also got you uh season of the deep t-shirt code already allocated so congratulations uh yeah jump into the community discord dude and that is yours my friend ggs man as easy as that so he do it all for right Augmented one, a uh, Destiny 2 t shirt. Let's go. Let's go. Do you think they put a legendary dog when I was. Do I check us to the EDZ? Yeah. yeah. Am, I, am I fire team leader, am I? Yeah, because I left to try and start my keyboard out. Yeah, 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 let's go to the outskirts then. Uh, yes, I got a legendary dude, so you no, know, no beans required on this occasion. Think I'll go for free for free here, mate. If you get a third, I'll be. Have you already caught all the exotic fish pigeon before? Uh, yes, the ones for like the quest and whatnot. Yes. Uh. The ones for finishing the triumphs, maybe not so much. Uh, I've got what four more emblems to give away. So that I'll, in here. I'll be dropping those codes in in chat. I just need to stay alert, stay active, and you'll be good. Right. Oh, public event here, dudes. But that's not bad, though, because it does mean we can at least get straight into it. A fishing pond has appeared. Let's go. Trying to find the pond. There it is. On me, on me. Snooze you lose. I'm going to get an exotic straight away. No, don't be starting until I get there. <laughs> you, and I didn't you stop you last you time, did it? Go. Yeah, but it's it, that was disallowed. That was disqualified. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, by the way, Darv, if Mr. Blarg says hello. Oh, I know that guy. Fear Blarg. Fear Blarg, yes, from uh, my you old know, like clan. I said, my keyboard wasn't working. I had number lock on. How do you get the controller on, man? You so literally never cease to amaze me, GG. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> You'll fail well first because you had number lock on. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. What the frick? That fish went flying. You gladly trade that shirt for an emblem. The yeah. emblem's rare. Do you know, I kind of I wish I had a fishing hat for this because I could sit here with my fishing hat on, fishing and really get into the role-playing side of it. Yeah, well, that, what with some... Uh, I fancy one of those, like, you know, with corks on the end, get flies away, like those Australian-style kind of hats. I used to do a lot of fishing when I was growing up. Like river fishing and stuff. I have one memory of fishing and it was when I was a baby. Well, not a baby, but I was like a pre-primary school toddler. Yeah. And my grandparents had like a camcorder. So the, 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 the home family videos were, were getting made. So we were at this fishing farm and we managed to catch a fish. And uh, obviously, when you catch fish, you have to, you know, like uh, <laughs> give it a little uh, dunt, <laughs> a little bonk. And uh, I'm up at my granddad going, You fucking chicken, you fucking chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and to this day, that was the first ever pitch swear uh, caught on camera. Me oh. <laughs> losing my mind about the, the, the fish. It always uh, takes you back when someone so small says something so. Surprising, you know what I mean? An, it's just an iconic thing, you know, like, and from me growing up. It's like I saw a video on TikTok, this little girl. She's like, oh, look, a goat. She's like, it's not a goat. It's a fucking goat. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Do you know another prime parent, prime parent moment? Was, What's that? I was on a, a train from Glasgow to East School Brides. And there's a stop called Thornley Bank. Mm. And uh, <laughs> Thank you. I just I don't know, I'll never forget this. But this uh, this kid was like to my dad, like, oh what stops this? And the dad was like, Thornley Bank, you wee wank. Oh no. <laughs> just, just like that. I was, I was sitting choking, like trying not to laugh. Crying. Like, oh my god. Overheard on a train ride to East School Bride. <laughs> This My goodness. Dude, dad going, Thornley Bank, you wee wank. <laughs> it's like son or nephew or something. <laughs> Fishing's getting good. I've only had one legendary up until now, so I'm feeling a little bit. A little bit down. But. I'm like, oh, hi, mate. Pretty pigeon, isn't he? I know, literally, off. like, if he has a. You know. You know, third will kick him. No, you know, you know what the rules were. If we get a third, you have you, to eat a bean. No, you have to do a, a bean cocktail. So you have to pick up two. Nah, no, nah, I didn't. I didn't agree to that. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> All good, fear. Fear's over here now. Fear's getting everywhere. The old content bicycle getting around. Is there a website saying that it can tell how many fish I've caught? Uh, I don't know. You can see how many yeah, fish you've got. Oh, is it? Uh, That's your total fish, yeah. though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I need to check uh, that. It shows you how many of how many each type, like exotic, I think. Oh, nice. This fishing hole is absolute. Like it's bad. Is that Fraser? Oh no, Frenier. Frenier, yeah. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna give away an emblem and make myself feel better. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, what did I post before? Oh.
What website was it again? The I'm fish. in. I'm in. Oh, GG. Yeah, fair play. All right, let's Based go. On, let's go to the prizes. Yeah. Yeah, let me bring it up. Jeff, there you go. Ooh. Ooh, an exotic pin set. Ooh, go straight in my basket. Beautiful, that. Ah, ghosty. If it always, if it already says redeemed, it's already been. Uh, someone was quick, super quick. We got these codes straight from the horse's mouth, though. So. He was so quick. Not typing obscure in my chat, Granddad. Did you send him in my chat again? <laughs> I tell you what. Next time, I'll replace one of the numbers with a question mark. <laughs> typing it as if like when he wins something. Get that out. way, he won't get taken so quick. <laughs> you know what? They've come to your chat. No, I don't know about. I'm not told them to come that to That way, he can't get taken instantly. See, then. I see you as a competition. Yeah, I got a legendary <laughs> there. Salvage or salmon. Oh, nice! Alright, the winner is. Let me know when you're Sniper. ready, Pidge. Sniper! I'm ready, Darth. I'm Do ready. it. Spin it. Spin to win! Oh, looks like it's going to be the hat again. Okay, chat. Redrick's good to see you, dude. You're doing really well on the old YouTube. Don't, don't start typing commands. In, sorry, guys. Hmm? I just gotta give. Come on, Jarv. What the frick? Simon. Do the city salmon. Do we even have that? My luck is pretty poor right now. A few more emblems to give away, but we'll swap out one of the numbers with a uh, question mark so it doesn't get sucked up straight away. Creates an opportunity. There's 39 prizes left. That is plenty of prizes to go around still. Does Bungie give me this stuff to stream the game to advertise it? I mean, I stream the game anyway because it's the game I cover, but yeah, they give it to me to, to give away. They give it to me to give back to our communities. That's what they do for all of us. But I'd stream the game regardless. So. Just an easy way for me to have a bit of fun with some friends and give back to you guys. I mean, that's a bad thing. Okay. Oh, you're good, Redrix. I know we haven't talked in quite a long time, bud. 
But yeah, you've been doing really, really well with your stuff, dudes. I'm really proud. It's always difficult at the start because you need to find yourself. And I feel like you're kind of there now. You kind of know where your, your angle is, right? You kind of know why people tune into you now. So you can build on that. Been good though. Been good. It's a, it's a grind and a journey, as you've clearly seen. And you've been on uh, both ends of the scale, right? You've seen the good times and the bad times, but ultimately they're all learning experiences and it's made you a better creator for it. So, respect, dude. Gotta, gotta respect the hustle. Right, come on, man. That, uh, that was my, that was up for the hat. That one wasn't it. I've had two hats. Yeah, it was a hat. Yeah. Awesome. I literally, bro. I've got so many blues and so many greens. I, I it's it's crazy. Although Gigi's not fishing, so I guess no. It, yeah, yeah, I was pretty... Bro, Sorry, guess down. what? Luck has changed. Oh, my God. Yes, get Take down in those beans, boys. Let's go. All right, let's do the... Uh, let's, do the let's do the wheel while those two are feasting. You love that. Ah, uh, I've got another one. Ah, oh, all right. Two seconds, dude. All right. Yeah. Uh, right, so I've got a Destiny 2 t-shirt to raffle away. Yeah. Uh, two sex, mate. Wait, who's it... got a place to give away? Me and Jav. Yeah, two seconds, mate. Would you bloody just stop fishing a minute while we sort this out? <laughs> no, we're going to have been fishing we're... while I was doing my plays here. We're going to get a bat. We're going to get a bat log. Uh, cool. Right. Uh, blah. where's the wheel? You need the wheel, don't you, Gigi? Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, right let's remove that. that. Right, let's go. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. Literally the Wheel of Misfortune for me. At that. Just another exotic pin set. Oh, another pin set. Yeah. There we go. Right, chat, if you want a chance to win that, the T-shirt that we just won, uh, type the word shirt mm -hmm. in chat. And uh, we should be good, I think. Phantom, you win the pin set, mate. Well done. Nice. Uh, there's no emblem giveaway at the moment, so you can stop typing it. Yo, Redrix, thank you for the dono, bro. You didn't have to do that, dude. I'll send it you now, Phantom. Super kind. You got a legendary job, dude. Did I tell you guys I'm having a big, massive steak tonight? All right, let's let's uh, let's roll this giveaway. <laughs> Will wins the T-shirt. Of course you do, Will. Oh, oh mate, what was that? Uh, reopen closed dock. Oh, that was Bungie Net. Don't need that. Uh, Alright, will we good? Uh, now I've got to do another one. Congrats, Will. Right, now I'm going to spin the wheel. <laughs> and we win a fishing hat. No, that was for the, that was for the fin, uh, fish pin set. Fishing hat. Um, cool. Right. Let's go back to the main screen. Are you guys distributing the prizes straight away or? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why it's taking ages. <laughs> okay. I'll go back and distribute uh, If you want to be in the raffle to win the fishing hat, just type the word hat in chat yeah i'll stop fishing a minute after this and so you can stop yeah i'm just out. raffling mine away right now all right 
It feels like it's picked up a little bit with the old. Oh, it's fluff. Right. It's got the ampushi. He looks really pissed off. Right. We'll draw it after this one so we're not left waiting. And the winner is... Oh, God, Standen won the fishing hat. No way. <laughs> well in, mate. <laughs> You really want an emblem? Uh, I'll post another code in a sec, actually. I feel like we've built up a nice bit of momentum. I posted one earlier and I have no idea if anybody grabbed it or not. Did you not? Oh, I'm going to grab another one now. Post another one. Right, I'm going to replace one of the numbers with a question mark, though, so it won't work on its own. You'll need to get lucky. Oh, mate. Now we've got a public event. Well, this slows things down a little bit. We can go to another destination anyway. You don't have to do the event. Should we go to another destination? Should we go to, like, Nessus? Yes, sir. And I, I can yeah, go on those prizes where we're all done. I was on mute. I was just saying, should we just stay here and have a rest? I'm getting a bit overwhelmed. Double bubble? What did... St <laughs> Did Stanley get the emblem as well? Oh, mate, Stanley won a hat and then he won the emblem in my chat as well. Stanley's luck is off the chain. It was four. Yes, it was four. So we've given away nine prizes so far. We've got 36 left. Plus emblems if you've got them. It's one prize per person. Yeah, no, I'm so not doing dupe prizes, I mean, but I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Your browser's throwing. <laughs> Half the time it says invalid format. You shouldn't do. They are in the right format. I mean, you can type them in without putting the symbols in, though. I've had one manky bean so far. It says invalid format when it's taken. There we go. Pigeon's not here, is he? So he's on his way. Chill out on that. Uh, okay. So they count then. I don't want to use up my RNG. <laughs> Get it, mates. Get it down, you lad. I mean, it might say that when more than one person is trying to redeem it at the same time, right? I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, boys. Ain't no fucking way, dude. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Get baited. Oh, good wheel. What are you mumbling? He's bloody moaning. They moan about everything, don't they? Well, he, he got this. Why can't I get that? And bloody, he won twice. He, said he didn't win twice. He, he bloody, you know what I mean? You don't have to spam it, whack. He can do, and I'll just take you out. Oh, no, don't. Yeah, it's all right. Spam it, because I need the VIP spots. Oh. <laughs> 100 shards at one time. <laughs> oh, yeah, you kind of smell it, yeah. It's, all, it's always the way. I remember doing one in Plunder, and, like, uh, I was giving away, like, that pirate cruise and stuff. Uh, emblem and the t-shirts, and, like... Yeah, Everyone just wants the emblem, which is wild, because it's the only thing that you're not going to care about in the, in a couple of weeks' time. But if you've got a t-shirt, it's actually not that bad. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I think the emblems are more uh, sought after than everything else, though, aren't they? Yeah, I get it. It's rare. I get it. Emblem, and we are the yeah. only source as well, so we kind of get it, right? Yeah. yeah. You know what people are like with emblems? <laughs> I want the fishing hats or the emblem. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> 4x. Well, it is. This is one way of keeping fishing interesting. It's usually a crippling chore. That's it. We're having fun. Giving away stuff. Eating manky beans. Can't think of a better thing to do on a Thursday, to be honest. For me, it's uh, put, stick some lo-fi on and then just recline the material and yeah, put lads. It in the controller. Oh, no. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I just don't want. To, I just don't want to see exotics, bro. You know what I mean? I don't really care, if, like for legendaries. I don't. I want prizes to be won, but I don't want to be putting a mouth full of beans in my mouth. So. Uh, I'm gonna be yeah. honest. I, I want legendaries so I can try and get some of those breaking in weapons. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, give, us a, give us a spin. Oh yeah. Stop fishing a minute. I'll give you, you a. I'll muscle. give you a spin. Yeah, daddy. Oh lordy. Oh my god. Fishing hat. Another fishing hat, goddamn. I was looking like hotcakes today. And the winner is. Augmented. Oh, no way. He won. He, I think he won one over here. Not a hat, though. He won a t shirt. Alright. Yeah. Oh, right. I can only do it by my uh, my stream, though. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you mean you can't? You can't. I mean, it makes sense for everyone to be in everyone's streams. Like, why would you not? I'd do it. You know what I mean? If I was watching, I'd have all three tabs yeah. open. So. Going for that, going for those emblems. You challenge anyone in chat to go through 500 bait in one sit with no music. Isn't that just what normal fishing's like? <laughs> Will, thank you for the uh, channel membership, dude. Legend. Enjoy your prize, your t-shirt. I want to see a pick. Appreciate it, dude. And just Mr. Mo, thank you for the follow as well on Twitch. Selfless plug, whose channel should you go to? You should go to all three. You should go to Grander Gaming underscore and uh, Pigeon, P I J I triple N.
Oh, a pigeon got a cod. Got a legendary. You got, got a legendary. legendary. All right, let me just grab this fish real quick. All right, I got a one nothing. Let's spin the wheel. The pigeon. Thank you, Jar. All good. Okay, let's see what's up. I would love to have a, a shark to give away again. Oh, mate. Or the pin. Pin set. Oh, oh. Exotic pin set. Okay, okay. Shit just got interesting. Yo, bro. So are you a fishing who and where are these fellas? <laughs> We're on Nessus right now. We're on Nessus. Uh, it's Grandad and Pigeon. Pigeon's probably sorting out a prize giveaway over in his channel. So make sure to go over there if you want to get your hands on the exotic Anglin's pin set. Destiny 2, Season of the Deep. Uh, we're trying to get another legendary so we can do another spin on the Wheel of Prizes to win a prize for our community here. Oh, man. I feel like when the fishing holes are like dry, it, it takes a long time to get a legendary. Uh, and we've got, I think we've got another emblem code to give away. We'll give that away in a moment. Once we've got some more prizes given away. Some of the IRL schloot. What's up, Rod? Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday afternoon slash evening. I don't mind legendary fish, man. It's just if someone else catches an exotic fish, I'm pff, beans are, are just rough. My, my luck isn't cut out. I can't have that many bad beans left, chat. I feel like every single one is terrible. We got a legendary. We got a legendary. Let's go. Let's spin for a win. You miss the old Harry Potter beans? That's pretty much what they're like, mate. And we got another t shirt to give away. Oh no! It's a hat! I called it too early. I called it too early, man. Right, if you want to win a hat, just type the word hat in chat. you got like 60 seconds before I win another prize. I, I just had Darren win a prize and everyone's going bloody. Darren, is this, is this Grandad Games community? I don't know, mate. Grandad, do you know? He's ghosting us. Yeah, I'm here. Come on, what, what's up? Do you have a Darren in your community? Another legendary. All right, because everyone's going bloody Darren. Is it Darren J or Darren 14? Darren 14. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kuda won a fishing hat. Uh, do you know what? It, it seems like he's he's been here a few times before, not just for. Yeah, he would. He would have been. He would have been. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah. Kudar, congratulations. Make sure you're in the community Discord, bro. Um, so we can get that fishing hat code to you so you can redeem that ASAP. I've uh, made a record of your name. Um, where do you get the code for the shirt? Uh, I'll message it to you after the stream. 
I've got them all already. Oh, an exotic pin set. Pog? Nice. Oh, have, uh, have you got them VIP spots pitching for having however many people chatting? Is it 100 to top one or 200? Uh, so if you want a pin set, just type the word pin in chat. Simple as that. But yeah, Kudo, congratulations, dude. Uh, if you do exclamation mark Discord, that'll give you the Discord link. And then you can raise a ticket with the uh, with the, the mods. I'll be able to see that and I'll be able to message you the um, uh, the code after the stream. And the same for you, Augmented, as well. Oops. Yeah, yeah. I would love to just, like, motherload that shit. I would just, like, go, right, everyone, we're just going to unlock our VIP slots. And yeah. so everyone just come out and go, hey, for, like, a couple of minutes. <laughs> just please. <laughs> All yeah. Once. I don't know what the rules are, whether it has to be like, because it says people chatting, so whether they have to say more than one thing. Oh, right, uh, so it's like a, a bit more continuous. Yeah. I was going to say, Separer got his unlocked via uh, someone bought in his channel. Chatbots no came in. Way. Yeah, no but way. Like, he appealed it and stuff, and he mentioned it to the, the support group. He's like, like this is just unlocked. Uh, like a Aronzo, congratulations. Uh, much like uh, Kudo, I'll make sure you're in the community Discord. Exclamation mark Discord. Uh, and I'll be able to get your exotic pin code to you at, at the end of the stream. We're starting to get a bit of momentum here. I thought this was ending. Yeah, you just posted in general. There should be a chat just above Jen that says, like, um, contact the mods. Um, you can open the ticket there, uh, Kuda. If you do that, then I can send you your code privately. Nice one. And GG uh, Aronzo as well. You can do the same and I'll uh, get those codes to you at the end of the stream. And you can redeem them on the Bungie store. You need the hat first? <laughs> Fair enough. There's 13 prizes given away, 32 left. Uh, T, I have. I have already read the uh, state of the game, yeah. It was the first bit of the stream, actually. Uh, like the first 40 minutes. It was wild, actually. Very well timed. How long did we say we were doing it for? I don't know. In the... We really don't know, how, aren't we? Because we could uh, <laughs> do another, another bit and then... Could uh, give some away on Twitter or something, or uh, unless you just want to carry on doing this, it's up to you too. I'm easy. How long did you, I was going to say how long we, we we got this going for? I don't I know. Pick up another week because like it's fucking helping channel, <laughs> helping the channel. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing it. Like, I mean, we can give away like because we've got 32 prizes left. Like, we could round it down to like 30 and then do like the another week yeah. where we do yeah, let's do that another batch. Yeah. And then we can do another yeah. batch if it's still yeah, taken. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll email them and see if I can get some more. I'm going to ask if I can get some more emblems as well. 
<laughs> do it. If, I do don't you. see why not. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. us. I mean, all I can say is no. Hey. Yeah, I'll have to see about it. No. Oh, you can only make it to dinner time without popping a bean, you fuck. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. Let Big me just win. pull this fish quick. Oh, freaking hell. Right, let's spin to win first. What's that behind you, Jav? I Do don't care. Is it a fridge? <laughs> Get your entrance in. <clears throat> T-shirt, yeah. Bloody T-shirt, lovely. Thanks for the follow, Mr. Mug. Right, now i got to eat a bean. I'm not very keen. Um, <laughs> right, what we got? Oh, it's either toasted marshmallow or a... A bug. Oh, what is that? How are they allowed to sell these? Like, honestly. <coughs> That's so gross. And it's not so much the initial buy. It's like the next 10 minutes. You know what I mean? I'm yeah, not very keen to eat a bean on stream. You, you know what I mean? Jalapeno. Let's fucking go. Cheers. Oh, it's, uh, is that it? <laughs> Tastes like grass and ass. Ugh. I think I'd rather eat ass than that <laughs> bean, to be honest. Fucking gross, dude. Ugh. <laughs> so, b so bad. I'm, I'm celebrating new employment. Oh, nice. I, myself a, I got I got a T-bone steak. Oh yes, dude. That was my meat. That was my parents earlier. And I was I really thought I was going to get away with not having my fucking taste buds compromised before that. Yeah. But here here we are. Quick, somebody clip that. Oh no, don't do that. No. Unless, unless it was your face with the beans, in which case, go ahead. <laughs> hey, a legendary. Nice, nice. Ignition toad. Ignition toad. Right, let's spin to win. We have another fishing hat. Should we keep going to like half eight? Like for another 10 minutes? Sounds good. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. All right, cool. Yep. Uh, right. So if you're in the chat, just type the word hat and call it good. I swear those beans give me a funny head, man. I mean, they'll give me a funny tummy in the morning, I reckon. I'll do another prize, mate. Oh, nice. Uh, go to the bungee star Minera and put it in as a coupon code <coughs> and you'll get a free t-shirt. You're a exotic pin set, my friend. Exotic pin set? Yeah, dude. Right. Duddits won a hat. Let's go, dude. Let's go, Duddits. I want to see a pic of that. Uh, to be fair... Duddits likes fishing, so that's not like. Keep up his street, eh? Yeah, mate. 
Congrats, dude. Boosh. All good, bro. I'll sort out your code later. Come on, we got we we got a pull on our exotic for the walls. You like fishing, but not destiny fishing. That's that's fair. It's a different kind of challenge. All good, man. Oh, the mullet. Man, I'm so glad. I, I could do with like more than three screens to do what we're doing tonight. I've got a spreadsheet to keep on top of. I got a wheel to spin. I got a chat to keep an eye of. I got <laughs> a game to play. It's like, ah. Uh. I'm actually managing it quite easily with all the things I've got open here. Do you do you use like a, a source that you can like for OBS? Do you like? I think it's OBS. Do you have a source where your game's up and then you can do have like anything open that's not the game and you can it wouldn't come up in your stream or is it like your desktop style that's been shared yeah it's just my desktop so it's it's um i just tab out right so yeah it's gotta be super quick though you don't want to hold that tab for long <laughs> right see that's where i would say i just have a have a different source because I like, I can have codes and shit open in front of me, even though I've got the game open. It always freaks me just... out though, dude, because part of me is like, because I've got like the, yeah. Uh, uh, trust, you've got to have faith. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I've, nah, I've got the wheel on its own source. So it's like, okay. No, you're spoiling my fishing chances. Yeah, it makes sense. Who won? Granddad won the uh, exotic pin set, didn't he? Yeah. And Dalit's won the hat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. No, because I had people typing the word pin in my chat. I'm like, I don't have I don't have pin sets to give away. You're in the wrong chat. <laughs> Joey Zaza. I rolled another? Oh, I did, didn't I? What a Muppet. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, I spilled that later, me. Let's go. All right, type, type the word pin to win. I did say that, actually. Pin oh, to win. Pin to win. Pin to win. Can you spin for me as well, Jarv? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a hat, bro. That was so close. Was it the hat? Oh, yeah. it's not in the hat. Nice, nice, nice. Sweet. Du -du 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 -du. All right. Go for it. Master Cat one. Right. Keith, by the way. Oh, is it Keith? <laughs> All right, dude. We get your code to you, no worries. Congrats, bud. GG's. This is a lively fishing hole now. Hey, Viper, what's up, dude? We just drew the pin. Master Cat won that. So we're going to try and win another prize. I've got another emblem to give away as well. So we'll do that before the stream's out. You have the worst luck on the planet.
Come on. Ah, uh, it's gone. We have to move destinations now. Go back to the Eds. Back to the Eds. No, not there. So we've given away 17 prizes so far. Congratulations to everyone in all three streams so far. We've got 28 still to go. So we're probably going to save some of those for another day. Uh, I think we're going to go for about another, fi another five minutes. Probably another two fishing pools. Yep. Probably, yeah. Yeah, get it down to like 20 prizes. So then that'd be half today and then half another time, won't it? Well, how many have we got left? 28. 28? We're not going to do eight in five minutes. Well, you mad? Well, a couple of fishing holes. You'll probably get like four or five between us. Yeah, I reckon we'll get one more fishing hole, don't you? Five minutes. Yeah. Is it, we can do. We can go at it again anyway. It's all good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to ask see if they've got any more emblems that we can do to keep it fresh each week. Yeah. Uh, it's all right, isn't it? A bit of Thursday, mm. bit of Thursday fun. Yeah, yeah for the streams as well well yeah there's nothing else to do this season so might as well have a bit of fun eat some beans yeah if we can get more emblems that would be meant wouldn't it yeah i'll, I'll email them to, um a little bit later yeah Uh, where's this fishing? Oh, is that a public event coming up? Oh, mate. Oh, mate. But what t-shirt is the code so you can claim it? I've got the code. Uh, if you've won a t-shirt, you need to be in the community Discord so I can message you privately the code for it. So, exclamation mark, Discord for that. And then there's a uh, under general ch above general chat. There's a contact the mods, and you just me you can message me through that. GG sent you the code. Oh, okay. You should Is be able to. Phantom? No, uh, Minir. Oh, Minir. What yeah. do you want to know? Uh, they want a the t-shirt, so they want to know what it's for, so they can redeem it. Claim oh, it. right. Season of the... It's, uh... Season of the Deep. Season of the Deep t-shirt. Yeah, I think if you go on Gigi's Twitter, you can see a picture of it. I think you probably need to put it in your basket, and then you put the code in, and it basically just... adjusts the price to be Mascara. nothing, I guess. Give us some free t-shirts, lads. It does think it does have shipping, your friend showed you, so you still have to pay for some shipping. Guess it depends what um depot it can like ships out from because i know some shipping like australia for example can be quite uh, make sure he's on the eu star not yeah not the us from the holland i think i think some, doesn't it ship out from germany not the sure, eu yeah. stuff Grand Access, i think so you're trying to get my instance good luck you'll be all right I think you probably. Oh no, you would. If they're connected to me anywhere, anywhere in southern England, should probably get me. Uh, 
bam, 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 bam. The pigeon, is there any particular role that you're trying to get on the reckoning weapons right now? Is there something that you've got on your like list of things to get before season twenty two? Yes. Uh Soul Survivor, I'm looking for fuel pet firing line. Nice. And the shotgun. I forget what the shotgun's called. Where is that the person here? Uh the shotgun, last man standing. Yeah. I think it was like a pugilist one two punch roll or something like that. Right. Something <laughs> variety. Should we go to the sure. throne world? Sure. Nice. I've uh, I got I got pretty good spear rations. I got the mad rapid tech connected tremors, which was fun. I don't have a good rapid spare rations. I think I've got a decent uh soul survivor. Let me have a quick look. If we get like a if we we are getting this PV hand cannon buff, then those rolls could actually be good. Explosions. I love kinetic tremors. Ah. Uh, huh. I've got the OG firing, uh, soul survivor with triple tap firing line with an ex extended mag. Unfortunately, I can't use that for any great use, really. Uh, I've got one with snapshot firing line, and then the other one's got. Oh, lead from gold eyed storm. I don't know why I've kept that, but. Oh, I still need to get a good one then. I thought I had a good one. Beep, 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 beep. Right. So, are you guys all set for your uh, day one raids? You got your yes, sir. Because yeah, you took you, you tweeted out, didn't you, Pidge? Did you manage to get a team sorted for that then? Yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was hard day to try find a team, and then I got headhunted by a team that I was more than happy to join. Nice. What about you? Will you be taking a stab? Yeah, man. Who's in your, who's in your team, then? I can't you say. Uh, I don't know my full roster, but uh, Gunner Troll is, is one leading it. Okay. Ah, oh, right. Uh, yeah. uh, as far as I know, a couple of the guys were on Rick Cactus and Empath teams in previous outings. They've all got some really uh, good placements, track records, all that business. Stuff. Yeah. Your bit of wheeling, man. <laughs> oh I said your bit of wheeling, man. Yes, sir. I am the lowest in the pick. No, like that's that's actually a, 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 a unique feeling for me. Yeah. Hey, I've got a legendary straight away. Nice. All right, let's get the prizes on the go. Oh, I've got one in. Hat. Thank you. All good. Okay, so the winner is... Beefy! Beefy, I'll sort you out after stream. <laughs> With Joey. Will the next giveaway be on Thursday next week? Probably. I think Thursdays kind of works because we can do twid, can't we? And then do this as well. Like a... Like a double header, isn't it? I can't just dish out codes, Turbo. It doesn't work like that. Huh? Okay. Hold on. Hey, legendary. Deafening Wishka. All right, let's draw a prize. Ooh. Exotic pin set. Love that. Right. You know what to do, chat. Dump the word pin to win. Let's fucking go. No, pigeon. <laughs> Get 
This is unbelievable, bro. I'm going to have to write a strongly worded email in the morning. Because I tell you what. This is not normal. Not normal. Right, let's draw your prize and then I'll eat my bean. Keep me keen. The, the, beam time. the Destiny 2 t shirt. Destiny 2 t shirt, and it is indeed bean time. Freaking amazing. Shit, I'm not ready. Hold up. Where's this jar of guy? Oh, no, I've already spun it. What was it? It was a Destiny 2 t shirt. Oh, right. The t shirt? Okay. Awesome. Oh, a decent one. Finally. Oh, yes. I've been lucky, mate, tonight. I think not one, one bad one. Oh, mate. I'm pretty sure there can't be that many bad ones left in my box. It literally feels like every single one. Oh, another legendary. Oh, I need to pull my thing, don't I? Let's roll it. Yeah. You have to uh, roll mine as well. All right, two seconds, bro. Need All to right. put, uh... We only have three exotic um, pin sets left. Um, Alright. Just let me know when you move. I'm spinning. I'm spinning. Go. I'm spinning. Alright. Great. Yeah, it's up. GG's, Michael. Congratulations on winning the pin set, my dude. Make sure you're in the community Discord. I've got your name recorded. And the winner is Lotus Leo. You wish uh, Destiny would do a collab of 40k with Warhammer? Probably. You just got two exotics in a row. Oh, mate, I think I'd cry if I had to eat two beans together. No, in my luck, I'll get like a dead fish in a dirty dishwasher. That's probably me. Is this Mr. Q another one of those granddad gaming pointers? Yeah. Meister Q? I think it's a mod. I think it's a mod. Not sure. Maybe. Possibly. I'm muted. Uh, yeah. Those, those, those guys are fucking slippy, man. You're calling it now from your it leaks. Was, uh, it's going to be a Project Red collab. I think... He would have been in your chat loads of times as well. He gets about Mr. Q. He's well known. He's in my chat as well. Fucking Mr. But for a long Red time, yeah. actually. What was I going to say? Blah, 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 blah. Words, words, words. Did you have your beans, boys? I did. Yeah. And it was it was very nice. I, oh, did you have a tasty one? A tasty one. The first of the That's night. Cool. you got to love it when you get the tasty ones. Mate. What about you, Dad? Mine was a tasty one. A bean has never tasted so safe, good. Safe. Let's go, Miku. What's good, bro? Hey, legendary. Mate, we're, we're, we're flying, bro. We're flying. Flying, dude. Standing just nice one, Lotus. He's got Grandad Gaming as his profile pic. <laughs> oh, got a fishing hat. Nice. Right. Mine's going to be fucking kitted out. Yeah, sorry, mate. I'll send it to you. Yeah, let's see. Just try and get another one. Wait, that was for the short, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm looking for standing on this list. Standing. Right in chat. Pop the word hat in chat. You out if you want it. Because you're doofus. There's still a five standing. 
Am I doing broski? We're doing all right, man. We're actually on a bit of a roll right now, which is quite good because it's been a bit slow at some points. So it's nice to be able to do it. You want it? Type the word hat in chat. Dude, I hate stream on Ugh. Make it three exotics. All right, good. So it's got some crazy RNG right now. Right, let's draw that real quick. Mr. Turbo, you want a hat? Your patience has been rewarded, bro. Congratulations, brother. There you go. Oh, Worth it. Right. No Worth right. it. Nice. Let's do another spin. But make sure to get into the community discord if you have won prizes and you can do you can contact the mods. You'll find that channel above general general and that message will come through to me and I can sort you out your codes. Was that for mine, that jar fishing out? Yeah, mate, that's yours. Yeah, beautiful. You want a bit of a roll now? Yeah. Told you, I told you. I might get down to 20 prizes left at this rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stimpy! I'll send you after the... Uh, uh, after the event. Uh, Escalation we'll Mark Discord. When are you open a ticket? Uh, post in general, uh, Turbo, now, for now. Yeah. And we'll sort it out after stream. You're already in? Cool. Just tag me and Jen, and uh, we'll sort it out. All right, so we've got your codes here, so we just need to get the code to you. So we'll do that. Hey yo, one for me as well. We are well on a roll now. An exotic pin set. Alright, new one's up. This might be the last one, I think. Right, chat. Laugh, Pin to win. Uh, we've got. Ooh, where's the where's the wheel gone? We've got twenty one prizes left, and we've given away twenty four. Uh, I'll make this the last one for me then, and I get the next legendary or whatever. If we go a little bit over it, it doesn't matter, does it? Oh, and I still have one emblem to give away. That's true, standing yeah. Oh, here we go. I've got a legend. I've got a legendary. Nice. Let me just grab this fish real quick. And uh, this is the last one for me, everyone. Oh, is your the last one? In. Yeah, yeah. Tag one, Granddad. Scheming. Yeah, everyone, come in. Obscure in chat because it's for an emblem as well. All right, let's uh, spin. See you in Granddad's chat, yeah. Where's that Muppet? Are you going to try and shoot for the same time next week? Yeah. 7 o'clock. There's a fishing hat. I'd uh, oh, hop in a oh, this is, this is the, a... the, the last giveaway. Yeah. So we got I 20. It's a live one coming. And we'll continue this next week. This shall be part two. Hi, Jules. I wasn't even going to stream this long tonight, by the way. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? It's actually been kind of fun. It's been fun, isn't it? Right. I'm, I'm going to go to the hell my hand in my loot. And then I've got another emblem to give away as well. <laughs> if I get like a, a decent uh, 
spirit rations, then I'll be uh, happy tappy. Yeah, nice. See you later, fire. Bye, the Hellstrom, congratulations, bro. Congratulations. Uh, roll it in a sec. But any any winners, yeah. Let's go to my Discord and then raise a support ticket with the mods and it'll come through to me. You put in a ticket? Nice. There we go. I'm going to roll it. Three, two. That would now be so funny. One. Is everyone in? Pop Manta with a quick lay entry. Moops. Moops with a big fish in it. Hold on, Moops. Bloody art's gonna cost you a lot in in bloody shipping in Australia. Yeah, you could buy all our prizes just to get that one. I think <laughs> to get it out of there. That's cool. all right. I'm gonna hand all mine in. See what loot I get. All right. One ex one exotic okay. is all I got all night. Unreal. Kiwi is one of the bloody giveaway for real for real. Oh, I got two exotics. Fair enough. It was six. It was six. Did you get it? Pigeon. Love you, man. Appreciate your time today, dude. Oh, dear. You just missed it. Oh, dude. That actually worked out all right. That wasn't too bad. It's taking longer than I thought. I think we kind of probably lowballed the time investment, but actually it's still fun for the most part. It's not yeah, too bad. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's... You've got to appreciate the fact that that was three people fishing for almost two hours, and that's all we managed to get. Ten. How many between us? Um, let me have a look at the wheel. I need to copy the... Um, the prize list that's still in the wheel so we don't start again you know what i mean um we got 20 prizes left we, we gave away 25 prizes today between us 25 prizes yeah over the total pool so we've got two fishing pins left we got one two three four five six Seven t-shirts and nine fishing hats left. You happy your patience was a virtue? Yeah, dude. Well worth it. Well worth it. No more emblems for today, but I am going to reach out to see if we can get another batch for all three of us for next week because we had fun. Which is good. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, yeah, it was good for, for everyone to hang out. State of the game. What was your thought? Actually, I haven't asked your thoughts on the state of the game before you go. For me, it was very overwhelming, dudes. I've posted a thread. Oh, okay. I'll go back and have a, <laughs> a gander's. Mostly, mostly well by it. Did not seem innovative. More maintain maintenance of sorts. Yeah. Just barely maintaining. And a couple of sore points as well. So, yeah. Still love the game to bits, but it's it's, uh, it's kind of hard dealt. I found it was ver a very reflective blog. It was more about how have we and are we achieving the goals we kind of set out whereas yeah. other ones in the past like you said are more like looking ahead focus. Yeah. yeah and i i said to gg like it would have i wouldn't have been mad i don't think anyone would have been mad if they didn't release that article today and they released that two weeks after the showcase because then you have context right because you've shown us what's so you can't spoil anything because you've shown it already right and then you can go into a bit more detail and actually provide a more forward looking view about what the next year of destiny looks like because right now we still don't we don't really know nothing about the next year of destiny really we know we're getting new bits of loot here new armor refreshes a map coming back here you know sandbox and quality of life changes there pathfinders 
over here and it's like i don't, I don't know the last time i had it we had like really massive systematic changes you know we still haven't had them all like fire team finder we're still waiting for that um we had like transmog we had the, the, the massive ghost rework we had the armor 3.0 with all the mods and stuff there's nothing of that kind of level happening it's all kind of yeah we're not doing ritual armor anymore because no one wears it but here's one trials armor set you know what i mean it's like i don't know thanks for the load darren way off mate doing a bit on your hunter imagine i was muted there you honestly knew the dark yeah like in that sense like would have been better to have context but we're just kind of sitting here going let's wait and see what happens eh yeah that's it like someone said in my chat like why are they not doing ritual armor sets you know but they'll put three they'll put three new sets in eververse i'm like yeah because it's it's a cost versus reward so like bungie aren't gonna actually spend money on armor sets that we're not using they've said that no one wears them they've got low low the low desire right so no one really wears them so why spend money investing in that when you can just spend money <laughs> on ornaments for eververse that people will spend money on right it's and that's kind of why their whole ritual activities look like they do like crucible's getting what i view as more of a, a supportive um path forward rather than a de deliverant you know one that's developing the mode and gambit's just getting kind of like a last chance we're not going to really do anything because the player and they've, they've even like acknowledged that the player numbers in that are really low but again you don't buy destiny necessarily to uh, for the ritual activities as such although they do kick tick the game along when the, the going gets quiet so they do need maintenance which is what they're providing but they're not going to invest any more than that because they're not money makers they're not they don't generate revenue on their own right so it's the seasons that make revenue it's the events that make revenue it's eververse that makes revenue it's the dlcs anything out of that is maintained and serviced because those are important as well because those are the foundations of the game but they're not the drivers uh the money drivers it's kind of where we're at it's kind of where i am with it really it is about money but it makes sense it for it to be because if destiny doesn't make money then bundy don't have money for all their other projects and destiny as well right so it has to all work All I'm going to have to say is, yes, yeah, Starve, because holy shit, I'm like wrapping up here. Nah, you're good. You're I good. I love you, dude. Thank you. Right. I'm going to hop out of here. I look oh. forward to the, the Yeah, cheers, break. lads. Nice one. Thanks nice very much. Gate, nice gate, Nice hanging out. And yeah, we'll set up for next week. That's, 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 this will get us to the end of the season nicely. Nice. Yeah. yeah. All right, nice catch you in a bit. Lads. Sweet. Catch you in a bit. Bye-bye. Right, guys and gals. Appreciate you hanging out for the stream. But yeah, like I said, if you were a winner today, congratulations on uh, anyone in the chat here. I Like I said, I've logged all the names of those that won the relevant prizes. So I'll marry them up with uh, the messages and then I'll get your codes over to you uh, now, just after the stream, to keep your peepers peeled on your DMs. But yeah, we'll be back next week. We've got another 20 prizes to give away. Uh, and I'm going to ask for some more emblems because... Just because. The worst I say is no, right? If I don't have any emblems next week, you know what the answer is. If I do, then you know, we're on for a winner. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, Aspilon. Okay, cool. Good to know. But yeah, cheers for that. All good, Dudits. I'll get it over to you ASAP, my dude. Uh, but yeah, enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Stay awesome. Stay safe. I'll see you tomorrow for Zer. And I'll see you all again very soon. Daddy, you filthy boy.